I'm over here talking. I ain't even got the volume on. I'm uh like I say, I'm, I'm looking at the shit and I see it's already still getting a little bit of laggeration. Give me just a second. Uh, if it just if it gets too bad tonight, then you know we'll probably end up going shorter. But hopefully it'll it'll suffice and it won't be just too terrible. It looks like it's trying to be steady, but it may it may droop here and there. Fuck it, we're gonna run with it. Welcome to the den. If you are not familiar with the den, well, shit, I don't know where the fuck you've been. Um, I said I was gonna drop some some short videos today, but I couldn't. Have, people who have a garage next door, they were doing a bunch of work. And there we go. Yeah, hold hold on a second. Let me let me see what we got going on. Because this lag shit I see is it's looking terrible. It's already, I'm already getting fucking annoyed dealing with it. Give me just a second. Oh, oh, really now, Jess Sarah? Is that the case? Karma, you say? Hmm. Hmm. All right, let's try this shit. Let's see what we got. Hopefully. <sighs> let's just make a shake. Let's see what we got. Join us, man. Then we're going to get into the conversation. Uh, while I'm doing that, let's see, let's see, let's see. James Harden, culture. With the, with the, uh, culture is a self-made man with a self-made wrench, man. Y'all don't know nothing about that. Get on your shit. Uh, Shannon Jones, Shaq Kush, what's the motherfucking deal? I see it's still doing terrible shit. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Sweetberry, hey man, look, here's the deal, y'all. In case some of y'all got in late and didn't see it. I offered... Shit is terrible. I'm, I'm, I'm really fucking annoyed. Like, I gotta, I, I don't know what it is. I really don't know. I'm gonna have to look and see some things. But I offered, if Sweetberry calls in tonight, that everyone... Currently in the chat when she calls, we'll get 15,000 pistachio bonus. 15,000, not 1,500, a 15,000 pistachio bonus um, if she calls in tonight. So, you know, y'all do what y'all want to do with that. Uh, 335, what's the motherfucking deal? D, the Gamma Maze, Baker Mans, what's the motherfucking deal? Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Ruby Rue, what's the motherfucking deal? Miss Meat, sit your ass down. What's the motherfucking deal? Uh, let's see, let's see, Jack. Nikki Napping, motherfucking Nicole, what's the motherfucking deal? My name, what's the motherfucking deal? Uh, Professor Trill, what's the motherfucking deal? Only one lie, what's the motherfucking deal? Miss Bell, always good to see Miss Bell. What's the motherfucking deal? AB in the motherfucking house, what's the motherfucking deal? Shout out to AB. Man, y'all in the dead and Facebook group had me dying, man. I was laughing at that goddamn, that damn Casey eating that fucking chicken or whatever the fuck he was eating. I've been laughing at that shit. I, I probably watched that shit seven times today. Um, let me see, let me see. I don't know if I said Miss Shannon. If not, you get you a second one. Uh, Jess Sarah, what's the motherfucking deal? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, we over here lagging and shits. Uh, Lockbird, what's the motherfucking deal? And do 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 do. Uh, Kim Mecca True, that's the first time. I don't know if I've I've seen that name before. Let me see something. Is it still no sound? Are y'all here? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? All right. Um, the other players players mess up, man. Uh, let's see, let's see. Where am I? At? Where am I at? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Make sure Vincent, Vincent, what's the motherfucking deal, Vince? What's the mother? Always good to see you. Uh, Cartier, what's the motherfucking deal? And uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Have I missed anybody? No. All right, so let's get into it, man. Let's talk about some stuff, man. Let's let's get into some conversation. And uh, so I think there's a lot to talk about. We want to talk about. Strong women. 
You know what I'm saying? Strong women, strong women. And so you're like, oh, so well, what do you mean by strong women? That can mean, you mean like physically strong. They mean they got like a strong underarm smell. They smell kind of strong, you know, they gave they, just some of y'all strong. I ain't gonna say no names. I don't know y'all like that. Some of y'all, you know, you know, you got a bad diet. You know what I'm talking about? You know, you got a bad diet. So hey, you gotta fix that. You know, that's that's between you, and your dietitian, and then the rest of your life. You gotta figure that out. But no, I'm not talking about strong physical women. I'm not talking about strong older women. Hopefully not. Um, but I guess I'm talking about strong in the the mental sense. It, I guess that would be the best way to define it, right? And it's a, it's a very interesting dynamic when you talk about strong women, right? Uh, <laughs> Mark, what's the motherfucking deal? Vanilla, what's the motherfucking deal? I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, female pimp. Right, you, you don't care what niggas like. You're giving it up for plumbers, bootleg DVDs, and tortilla chips. So, I mean, you know, hey, get it out of your live, play. I ain't even mad at you. Uh, strong faces. Yeah, strong face. Oh, man. My old lady got a co-worker. And, you know, hey. I generally say that you can tell the difference between um, a biological man and a biological woman. Hey, but, you know, hey, sometimes players fuck up. Sometimes nature fucks up. You know what I'm saying? And then sometimes nature fucks up. So, you know, players fuck up, but nature fucks up. Um... I don't know. All you got to do is say hi, female pimp, and then maybe you'll get a hi back. You be in here talking shit. First thing you come in here is with some shit talk. You want somebody to say hi to you. What kind of what kind of bullshit is that? Um, double standards, of course. Uh, yes, unlucky looking. Very unlucky looking. Um, so, but let's talk about it. So, strong, do strong, strong men really afraid, or, or strong, or women, <clears throat> are men afraid of strong women? Strong personalities, I guess we'll say. And let's explain some stuff because I think that a lot of people have strong personalities confused, right? Because a lot of women think that they have a strong personality or that they're considered a strong woman when, no, you're just kind of off-putting or you just got a bad attitude. A bad attitude doesn't make you strong, you know? Regardless of what you have or have not been through, that, that, that's not what makes you strong. Going through circumstances where you really have no other choice but to go through those things doesn't necessarily make you strong. I think strong is when you, when you're not necessarily surviving, but you're thriving in spite of your circumstances. Because, I mean, everybody survives. I mean, it's just kind of either survive or you die. That's just kind of where you're at. Like, to me, surviving is like the the bottom tier i guess you could say thriving you know in spite of everything negative that you've been through and then finding a success with yourself is to me better than 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 surviving that takes a strong person because i know a lot of weak people who have survived you know um i know a lot of weak-minded people who have survived a lot of things so i don't i don't necessarily look at it like that you'd be like huh so that's fucked up well i'm, I'm gonna keep it 100 with y'all and if y'all don't like the definition uh Hold on, let me see. There we go. There we go. It's all. It's uh. See, there it is. Mm. Give me a second. See, it's, it's, it's doing that bullshit again. It's like I don't know, man. I I really don't know, and it's 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 annoying because, like I said, it's just so it's so random. I don't know what it is. I have no idea what it is that's just making it act this way. I don't know what it is that's creating so much lag, but. If it continues on in this manner, then we are, then we may have to, um, we, we may have to, we may, we may drag it up short tonight because I know this kind of stuff can be hard to watch. And this is, this is, this hard to fucking do. It's not hard to do. It's just annoying. But so saying what, you know, um, and that's what she said, female pimp. So. But again, like I say, so surviving and, and thriving are two different things. Having a bad attitude is not a strong personality, you know, because I think you can have, you could be a jovial person and just not take no shit, you know. You can be a jovial person and be a powerful woman, 
but just being angry and being mad doesn't make you that way. It's a lot of motherfuckers that ain't worth a fuck that's just angry and mad. They have no power in the world whatsoever. They're not strong in anything. They just do whatever they do. So sometimes I think the terminology can get misused and I think people can misinterpret it. It it, it becomes too generic, kind of like kind of like the term kings and queens. When I mean, everybody's like, so you telling me you you out here half naked wearing clear dresses and dirty draws and you gonna call this motherfucker a queen? Uh, motherfucker on the stripper pole. And I ain't telling you don't get your money, do what you do. But I'm not calling no stripper no queen. And so like I said, we just get we just get too loose with certain terms, you know what I'm saying? And so that's why I say I think you have to be more cautious with what you do, otherwise you start watering shit down. And so getting back to what I was talking about though, that I don't think just because, you know, you exist doesn't make you strong. And that's the the that's the problem with a lot of people, right? Um but a strong woman is a woman I feel like, and again, we could go to the term independent woman. And I'm not saying independent is, Bo Boosie fucked a lot of y'all up, you know, because you could be a very government dependent woman and quote unquote be independent. But I don't, I don't think if you depend on the government, you're not necessarily independent because if that government check don't come, well, you depended on somebody. Um, but what I do believe Honestly, and I'm not faulting you if you are on government assistance and you're trying to get to the next level. It is what it is. But I don't think you're independent. Independent is, is self sufficient. Independent is self made uh, or, you know, self reliant, if you will. And there's a lot of people who are not that. Um, and so a lot of these terms, like I said, they get overused and, and, and people are so quick to gravitate towards them and use them and claim them because they want to be a part, I guess, that in crowd or whatever. I don't think it's all of that. When we're talking about truly independent, when we're talking about truly strong women, we're talking about um, women who can carry themselves in any environment, any room, the ones, to me, it's stronger to not lose your composure than it is to lose it. So if I could say one or two things and then you just going to flip your script, you mean you're just going to go nuts because I said uh, a certain combination of words. And this ain't just women because it's men who do it too. You can say a couple of words and niggas just lose their shit. They lose control of themselves. That's not strong. That's not power. Uh, we talked the other day about giving your power away, and I, <clears throat> I think that, that applies across the board. And so, <clears throat> what I mean, truly powerful, truly strong, um, are men afraid of those kind of women? This is where the caveat happens, and like I said, I'm not going to talk too much longer. I'm going to open the line here in just a second. I don't think men are. I think that more immature dudes who may not be looking for something serious, they may not be a turn on for them. Or if you maybe you've been through some shit and you just at this point, if you're not looking for something serious in your life, then generally that's probably not a no-go for a man because a man is going to know she's probably going to be looking for something that's consistent or she's going to have expectations. Generally, she's going to have standards. Generally, she's going to have... Um, <clears throat> some type of protocol about herself. And if you're just looking to have a little fun here and there, and this is not to say that business women, people who got women that got this shit together don't like to have uh, boy toys or, you know, fuck around a little bit and then get back to their business. They are there, and some of those are the, the, the biggest freaks. Um, and no, I don't think AOC is a strong one. I just did that for, for whatever reason. Um, that's not to say that, but the likelihood is that these kind of women are going to kind of have their priorities in order. And you're going to have to be at a certain level mentally and in your life to really kind of deal with that. <clears throat> and so I think if you're not looking for anything serious, then that's not going to really be your bag. You know, that's not really going to be the thing you're, you're seeking. Now, if you're a man that's looking for something long term, you're at that point in your life where you're ready to settle down and you look for something like that. Um, now, it come, depends on what kind of man you are. Now, if you're a man that just wants to be in control of everything, then that may not be your cup of tea you know but if you're a man who is at a point where you're doing certain things with yourself you are trying to look to advance in life and a woman like that can be a motivator she can be an inspiration she can be uh your number one fan she can push you because you know they say you know the saying how it goes between that behind every great man was a strong woman or something like that i guess for the most part that's true um <clears throat> but again and this is why I say there's a difference between strong and 
bad attitude and all that other stuff because the woman with a bad attitude, the woman who is just complaining, say you're trying to build something. She's not motivating you by complaining, by nagging, by uh, pressuring, or you ain't got this, you ain't got this complaint. That's not what it is. A strong woman is going to motivate you when you're down, when you're saying, oh man, I don't know how I'm going to you know, do this thing, or I, I want to get this promotion, or, you know, she's going to be the fuel to your fire. She's going to, you know, inspire you, give you good advice. She's going to be that suggestion. She's going to be that motivation. You know, again, a woman with a bad attitude is just going to complain. So it's a big difference. So that's why I say I think there's little caveats that we have to address when we're having these uh, discussions, if you, if you feel what I'm saying. Um, so especially, too, if you're a man that is... Working hard, and, you're and this is something that we, we talk about, and I'm going to get into this in a second. And I'm going to go ahead and open up the line in just a second, so I, I know y'all want to talk. But no man really wants to come home. To that. No hardworking man. man who just don't got, give a shit. He ain't got nothing going on, whatever. He, he'll he probably tolerate it to, to, to exist or whatever. But a man who is grinding, a man who is, knows that he puts in work, and this is why I think a lot of people... We've, we've had some arguments and some conversations. This is not to knock a woman who works. It's not to knock a woman who's doing her own thing. But it's women who we've had the conversation where, you know, they want that traditional role for the man, but then they don't want to do traditional things and they still want to have that independent mentality and all that. That man, as a man, period, every day it's a battle. You're fighting a battle with the world. And I'm not saying that's necessarily you're really going to war or anything like that, but it's a fight, you know. Outside of your home, you it's 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 a fight. But when you come home, you expect peace and solitude and things to be of a certain accord. You don't want to come home and be fighting and arguing and doing all that stupid shit with your woman. You will never win that way. So that's why I say I know a lot of people have, they think, oh, I'm independent, I'm going to keep this attitude. You got to deal with me and my problems. Well, you're going to most likely be dealing with your problems alone. And that's That's just period, you know what I'm saying? And so that's just my little bit of, of anti Derek Jackson advice because he'll tell you ain't nothing wrong with you. You should put up with your shit. No man wants to put up your shit. If he's, if he's going to work, and I mean really working hard or whatever it may be, he could be in a physical labor. He could be into a mentally taxing occupation. You know what I'm saying? He might be fighting with, with the people at work, you know, trying to compete or whatever they have him doing and then to come home and then having to, 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 to battle it out with you. That's something no man wants to do, man. So I, I think a lot of modern women don't get that. Then, and again, if you want to be a modern woman, you can be independent. You don't have to deal with that. I'm not saying that you have to bend to that, you know, but it might not, you might not get the dynamic that you want from a man if that's what you are expecting, but you're still expecting that you can put it up and you can fight and you can do all that other shit. You know what I'm saying? So exactly. And I agree with what my name is saying. A strong man, he's going to take care of the household. He's going to make sure everything is right and in accordance, right? But there's women who want that man, but yet they still want to feel like they can have the single woman attitude and have the single woman personality still say and do whatever they want to and expect that that man is going to want to be with them and deal with that shit. Now, look, hey, once you didn't have a kid or two, well, guess what you, you know what I'm saying? You, 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 you fucked up. Um, mm, I want to say it was... I know, uh, I think like last weekend, yeah. Um, motherfucker got me from my P.O. box. I forgot about this shit. Um, <clears throat> so nobody wants to do that. Nobody wants to do that. But um, that's the thing. But I think that people don't realize that You have to understand, you, 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 it, there's going to be some give and take, depending on what you're trying to get out of life. But anyway, like I said, we'll continue the conversation. Let's open up the line. I've been talking and shit. Um, again, if y'all want to call in on tonight's topic, if y'all want to talk about the, um, the education we were talking about earlier uh, and all of that stuff. Yeah, a strong man does do that. But <laughs> that doesn't mean if he made a bad action by knocking one of these Nagger brought up that she should just ultimately continue to apply that pressure. Like, you know, people should want to grow and do better. Like, you should never want to be the same person you were yesterday. There's always a way that you can improve. I mean, just a smidget. Information is, when we're talking about education, you know, and there's certain levels of self-education that is 
Matter of fact, that shit is, is very frustrating. It's shrunk down a little bit, but like I say, if it gets to a certain percentage of, of frame dropping, then we're going to wrap it. But right now, we're all right. We'll see how it goes. If it starts getting worse, then uh, we'll deal with it. The den line is active. Y'all call in. I want to know what's on your mind. I want to know what you're thinking. I want to know how you're feeling. Um, if she leave you hungry, we will never leave you hungry. Wait until tonight, girl. <laughs> yes, this is, man, Craig Baker, you are A1 on point with that. God damn it, this shit is giving my fucking nerves. Like, it, I don't understand why. I don't understand why. Let me see something here. Because we had a spell where it used to have these bad problems, and then it got better. Like, we weren't having issues for a couple months, and then now it's just getting shitty again. Um... And I'm wondering if anything has changed around me that has impacted that because nothing on my end has changed. Nothing different. It just started acting like super shitty. I think that the other night when we started talking about the Disney shit. So I'm trying to figure it out. Maybe I might have to try. Uh, I don't think it has anything to do with my stream key. I don't, I don't think that's a, a issue. I don't, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, you know. The thing is, the thing about it too is that you want to be better as a team, right? To be better as a, I don't know, look, you, sometimes now you can just, I don't want to say a strong man is an honest man. <laughs> We're talking about strong women, goddamn. We ain't talking about strong men tonight. Um, you know. Sometimes you can't be all the way honest. But I'm not saying that you need to be deceptive with your old lady. But some of y'all, some of y'all can't take the God's honest truth. Some of y'all say y'all want the truth. But uh, if a man tell y'all the truth, y'all gonna lose your shit. Look, uh, I only one. Look, what you, what you, what is you reading this out of a book of, a book of strong man uh, quotes or something? Where you getting all this shit? You know what I'm saying? Mm. Them face tattoos make you a strong woman, female pimp. Um, but yeah, I think communication is key, and it's not on, just on the man's behalf. Because again, as a man, there's a lot that is expected of you, and there's nothing wrong with that. But you can't have all these expectations of a man, and then you yourself not want to improve. You want him to do this, do that, do this, do that, and then you be yourself. And that's the funny thing about society is because that's kind of the, the standard that's put out there. You know, and I don't know if it's society or if I don't know it's the way people take it or whatever, because again, like I see the posts all the time. We talk about it all the time. Uh, if a man wants me, he's got to take me as I am. Well, why don't you want to be better so you have more options and better options? What's the motherfucking deal? Who do we have calling into the den this evening? Oh, I guess I should... Uh, hey, Honcho? Yes, let me see. Can you, hold, on, hold on, okay. Can you hear me now? Hello? Hey, Honcho. Okay, can you hear me? Yep, I can okay. hear you now. Okay, cool, cool. All right, how are you doing, Ms. Bell? What is on your mind this evening? Well, as far as strong women go, um, I guess I've been told I've been one for a long, long time. And one of the things that I've found is we tend to have good boundaries set, hmm. and we tend to not tolerate a lot of bullshit. Hmm. Um, but we also look for strong men. A weak-willed man or a weak-willed woman doesn't do any good to either a strong male or a strong female because it means that they're not going to stand up to having a partnership with that person. I agree. That's kind of all I got tonight. It's, it's kind of one of those topics, I think, that are self-explanatory, although I think that a lot of the women in the den probably have some really good stories to tell. Um, so would you say prior to you, you know, your, your, your marriage or anything, did you ever come across maybe with you having a stronger personality, come across maybe a weak willed man? Like, is it something that you see in a weak willed man or as a stronger woman, that's just an instant turn off or is there a way of determining? Does it take some time being spent? Like, how can you tell? I think if they're kind of a magnet one for the other, it's almost like polar opposites attract. Um, I've, I dealt with a few weak-willed men before I met my husband, 
and a lot of what it is is they can't step up and be honest in the relationship and their communications need to work um, but what it means is that they expect a lot from the women but they're not willing to put the same strength up and match it and that's where the relationship probably wouldn't work for a long term yeah. doesn't mean that they don't connect and separate it just means that it becomes toxic on either end actually whether it's a woman that's weak willed and will step out on the guy and he's the one that's faithful and whatever and, and this and that and the other thing it just becomes toxic on one side when it's not balanced okay. Okay. I can agree with that um, all right. Uh, I don't think I have anything else to inquire to that. Did you have any uh, feelings on the? Or did, you, did you call in earlier? Or did you miss what? It? Early, because we were talking about education. I don't. I don't recall. I don't know. I was kind of. No, rushing. I wasn't on this morning. Oh, I had things I needed to do. Okay. Okay. Did you have any thoughts on that? Uh, what was the topic? I barely heard you. Oh, uh, we were we were talking about uh, the value of an American education, and we were just kind of talking about you know college versus. You know, trade school versus people who are learning, you know, things via the internet and starting their own businesses to, you know, make a living, things of that nature. Here's my thought. Mm -hmm. College isn't for everybody. Mm -hmm. However, if you know college isn't for you, then try to apply yourself with a trade that can put you at a professional level if that's what you want. Mm -hmm. um, the thing is, is that colleges today actually have some vocational training. Mm -hmm. So if it works for you, go for it. It's always good to keep an education. Um, I came from a very academia family, so it's the one thing that they can't take away from you. If you've earned it, then they can't take it away from you. So I support education, whether <coughs> it's vocational or whether it's um, college or graduate school or whatever, but the, the point is, is Stay on your game about the field that you want to be in. Make sure that you know everything so that you're a valuable either employee or business owner. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay, okay. And education is really the way to go in order to stay ahead of the, the curve. I agree. I agree. Um. But it doesn't have to be done with an expensive price tag. Community colleges are a fantastic way to start out to figure out whether whether or not you even want to go to college. Yeah, I agree. And I think that's the, because we were talking about that too with the, you know, so many people getting in debt uh, with some of these loans and things and then they're going out and they're getting, some of these people are getting loans, you know, for $100,000 or more and they're going and they're pursuing, you know, kind of bullshit degrees that there's really no field for us just because it's something that they wanted to do but there's no you know there's no real income in those fields and so we were talking about that and a variety of other things but okay, okay. that's the thing the parents don't teach the kids is how to be practical mm -hmm. you know why go in debt before you even start an endeavor yeah it doesn't mean that you know if you've got a hundred thousand dollars in scholarship but your school's two hundred thousand you're still getting 50 percent off so you got to kind of look at it that way and if you're going to be a neurosurgeon well you know your return on it's going to be pretty good but if you choose to be a master plumber you don't need harvard or yale you need you know a different type of schooling so it's, it's also matching the academic schooling with the vocation of choice but you know the big thing is is just making sure that you talk to a career counselor you know, and whether it's at the local college or, you know, we've got kids in high school that tune in, make sure you talk to your counselors. And if it's not good enough, go to the next person, you know. Um, and I will tell you this, one of the things that I was told in my generation is that a person will change their career four times. Hmm. So you could be the plumber, the electrician, the, the craftsman, you know, and that's three out of the four different careers, but you're still in the same field. So, you know, things in life change, but you have to be flexible, and education is really important, you know, whether it's vocational or academia. Okay, okay, all right. And I agree, I agree. You have to mean education is necessary because, I mean, in any, any way you look at it, there's, there's no advancing in life without any kind of education, so I definitely Today's day and age, no, there isn't. Mm -hmm. um, but on a final note, 
sweet berry, you need to call in, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. Yeah, if y'all don't know. I got to throw that shout out because, mm-hmm. you know, but mm-hmm. um, that's all I got tonight. I'm back to the boards and on to the next. Uh, I really don't appreciate Don't forget my points or my uh, pistachios. I got you. I got you, Miss Bill. I appreciate the call. All good. All, all right. Name. Right. Right, yeah, see, look, y'all don't know that y'all are missing out. Sweetberry just has to call in, and everybody gets 15,000, 15K pistachios. So I implore you, if you like pistachios, to encourage Miss Sweetberry to call in. That's all I'm, that's all I'm telling you. You know what I'm saying? That's, 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 that's y'all, uh, that's all you gotta do. <laughs> I'm just trying to tell you, man. I'm just trying to look. I'm just trying to hook y'all up, man. I, I want to see y'all with it. You know what I'm saying? Okay, she just don't want pistachio inflation. Okay. Well. Hmm. 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 Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let me see what y'all over there talking about. Uh, see, look, y'all know when it comes to anything illegal. In America, female pimp knows because she is an immigrant. I don't even know how she's legally in this chat right now. So if y'all need all that information, she gonna uh, she gonna have an answer for y'all. I shouldn't have said nothing about pistachios. So this call is all about free pistachios. Y'all know who this is. What's the motherfucking deal? Who we have calling into the den this evening? Hello. Hello. Um. Okay, I'm calling in because I just want to comment on earlier topics. You call in because you just want some free pistachios. But go ahead. Yeah, that too. All right, what's up, everybody? Um, Look, most people want to do well, want to do better, want to do great, but they too afraid of failure. Mm -hmm. They get too afraid that they're going to fail, that they're going to mess up in success. Um intimidates people mm-hmm. okay. and so you feel like is that why people are not pursuing education or people don't pursue education or have lack of it because they develop this mentality that they can't do it they can't do this they'll never be that they'll never amount to anything mentality okay. and I think part of it is because somebody bestowed that mentality in them. And it's something that they've always believed. Okay. Oh, so what do you think is the solution for that? Uh, I don't really know what the solution to it is because it's, it's, it's different for so many people. Like, there is a, um, at the job, the second job that I work, it's only a part-time job, but it's an organization that, you know, helps people and everything. And they provide adult education classes for people who didn't uh, graduate high school and they want to graduate high school, they want to go to college or whatever. And it's pretty much the same with a lot of those people there. When they get to talking and they're telling their life story and everything, it's always, you know, I can't do this. I can't do that. Oh, I don't get it. I can't do it. Hmm. What do you think, do when you say, you know, it helps people get an adult education, do you see, like, are you kind of along with the process with some of these people as they're getting it? Do you kind of, uh, do you get a chance to, like, you know, kind of maybe uh, work directly with these people? I don't teach the classes. I'm just pretty much there as a volunteer. Because they also teach English as a second language to people who come from other countries and don't speak good English. Okay. And they got to know how to speak English because they're taking the like the citizenship um, test. Oh so, you, not. oh, so you're encouraging the illegal immigrants to come to, uh, to this country. So it's you that we have to blame for this. No, like, these people are here legally. They're not here illegally. Mm. But they don't speak good English from where they come from. Mm. Like, we got an older lady who's, like, 65 who comes from Honduras. 
Honduras. No. Yeah. <laughs> and she <laughs> she comes from Honduras, and her like her English is just broken. Like she can speak a few words clearly, but she doesn't um, speak it very well. Okay. Okay. Um. Uh, so. With uh, with someone like the more I guess American adults, you say you know these people are trying to guess trying to get their GEDs and and move forward. Like, what do you see it, it being a, a maybe a hindrance? I know you said it's the mentality of a lot of these people, but why do you think that they're pursuing just that level of education? Is it like a court order thing? Is it because they want to? They want to move on to a higher level? Like, what do you what do you think the reasoning is behind those people who are going to get the their education? Um, well, a lot of it comes down to finances because they can take the classes and everything all they want, but they have to be able to pay for the test. Like it's GED or it's called high set now. It's mm -hmm. not, it's not just GED anymore. Man, this shit is GED. Good enough degree. God damn it. Um, what is it? What the is high set it? test is basically a high school diploma mm -hmm. equivalency test. And a lot of the people that are in the class, there are a lot of older people. Like, we got one lady that's been trying to get her GED since 1975. What? So what is the so, problem that, that she is uh, struggling with? She's struggling with the math part of the test. Like, really bad. Like, I'm no expert at math. Yeah. I got a C in college right now in my math class, okay? Mm -hmm. So, I can't really help you out there. But, uh, for some pair of reasons, she can't pass that math part. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So, do you think it's it's just... Do you think it's pressure? Because some people, when it's practice, whenever it's just, you know, kind of going over on uh, certain things. Well, she's going to take the high set test because it's a little easier than the GED test. Because the high set test is not as strict as the GED test. Really? It doesn't require you to, yeah, it's not. Like, if you get like, for every question that you answer right on the high set test equals two points. So if you get a total of ten points on that high set test, you pre um a part of that high set test, you pretty much can pass that part. So how many questions on the test? There are fifty two questions on the math test. There are ninety eight questions on the science test, and there are sixty eight questions on the language test. And all you gotta do is get ten of them right in each one? Because the average national score to pass on that is only 45 points. What? What? Now I know why motherfuckers can't count change at the fucking Taco Bell. That's tough. And I mean, this is but not... The this is not questions a, not, are random, though. The but, questions but, but, are random. But I mean, it, it because they go from chemistry to algebra to different levels of algebra to um, it's the questions are all random. But what I'm saying is, you got like you have what? How many three sections? Six to science, uh, language, and math. You get you get thirty minutes to take each section of the test. And you can request for extended time. Like on the math test, you get thirty minutes. And you only some people get... choose to take the paper version of it. Some people choose to take the computer version of it. Some find that the computer version is a lot easier. So, man, you do you do you understand? Like, this is it's like depressing to me. Why? Well, because that seems like extremely easy. Like it seems like, and, and this is easier than the GED. So it seems it's like it's not easy because 
it's pretty much the same questions that the GED had. It's just not as strict with how much points you need but in so order the, to pass. It. So then they made it easier. It's easier to pass, even though the questions are the same. It's easier to pass by the the method in which they grade it. So then, in that, in essence, easier. It's just easier in in uh, terms of points, not the question. But what I'm saying though is is. Uh, never mind. It's just I don't know, man. Because okay, you said it was it was what sixty uh, language with sixty eight language questions. Yeah, you got like fifty. You got like sixty eight language questions, mm -hmm. and then you got on the math part, you get like fifty two math questions. Mm -hmm. All of them are algebra, chemistry, all of it. Mm -hmm. It's in random order. So basically, it's you, not. You get like one out of five right, one out of seven right, and in, in the English. So it's, it, I mean, that's what I'm saying. It's like the when when I when I think of a test and having to pass something to, to be successful at it, I would think that you yeah, have to get but the majority you of would right. be surprised, Tancho, because there are a lot of people. The most common sense that people in this class have a problem with passing is the reading in the language. Mm, this is tough, man. Because some people can't read past a third grade level because they give you an assessment test when you get in there. Mm -hmm. They give these people an assessment test to see where their level of education is at. And some of them not even past the third grade level. Man, look, if you ain't reading past third grade level, you got kids, you need to be grounded. Like, if you, if your, your, your basic academics ain't in order, like you don't need to well, be. Well, because like, like we had an older lady who, she works as a bus driver. Mm. She has kids mm. and whatnot. And the teacher had them reading a college level book. That lady could barely even get past the first couple of sentences because mm. she was struggling with the words in the book. And I was thinking like. They shouldn't start off on this high level of a book because they're not ready for it yet. Man, look, they need to go and take some ABC Mouse and be the, the they do the ABC Mouse first, then go take the 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 GED. Man, that's that's tough, man. That actually is you. You've made me very sad, Shannon. It's not to be sad. It's just that no, I'm sad. I'm extremely because sad. I'm just saying is because these people are set at different levels in their life, especially education wise. It is intimidating, and people develop the mentality that they can't do something. When I know they can, mm. but they're so intimidated by robotics test, mm. by worrying about passing this test and worrying about failing it, and everything, and getting discouraged that they, like I said, these people have a mentality that they can't do it, and I know they can't. If they apply themselves, I know they can't. I'm still sad. They have been applying since 1975 and they ain't doing it. That's tough, man. That's like, that lady can pass all the other versions of the test. It's just that she's struggling with the math one. Mm -hmm. The math one is the one she's struggling real badly. This call has made me sad. So I'm saying is people want to do better it's just that when they get intimidated by something they sort of like hide in a corner mm -hmm. i feel like and uh, they don't want to come out of that corner because they're so afraid of failing i feel like right now that i don't know you, you really ruined my evening shannon i just i just want to let you know that you're a horrible person I'm not a horrible yeah, person. You, you, I was you, just coming. You have made me extremely it's, sad. How did I make you sad? I, mean, I was just, coming, Johnny. I mean, I don't know. I, I like you said, we. I want to hear some. They've had a lot of people pass. They've had a lot of people pass these tests. Mm. Mm. That's crazy stuff, man. That's tough stuff. But some people do drop out of the classes because they feel like they can't do it. Okay. 
Let's pretty much. That's pretty much all I wanted to say. Mm, okay. Well, that's a bet. I'll give you a thousand pistachios. You know, I should come up with some GED questions for you to earn them, but that's tough, man. Uh, whew. I don't know. I don't All know. right. All right, Miss Shannon. I'm, I'm sad. Like, I'm, that's just the state of affairs. Bye. That's why people come from these other countries taking all the jobs, goddammit. All right. Appreciate it. <laughs> the Indians, that's why the Indians coming over here winning. Indians coming over here talking about, yo, it's easier to become a doctor in America than India. Let's, let's, let's go ahead and do that. They coming over here because it's, it's easy. This is sad shit. <sighs> Tough shit. I guess, I mean, but this is, I don't, I don't even want to get into it. Education is important, people. Let's get back to the strong women stuff because this shit that made me sad in a bit. I shouldn't even give Shannon all these pistachios. Make me cry inside my soul and shit. <sighs> yeah, female pimp, you can't even pay for free. Um, man, I'm sad, man. I'm really sad. Like, sad state of affairs and like Miss, Miss Bell said shit, I, I'd be surprised if it's still even at 8th grade level these days That's, it seems like it's got lower than that and that's why it, it's tough man it's especially with the <laughs> everything being people, most people you know most people get their information I think more people get their information from fucking memes and, and bullshit like that than actual news sources people see a fucking meme and run with the shit like it's real I saw it I'm telling you I read it on the news it was a meme and it had pictures and everything you know uh, so there's that mm. there's that stuff man that's, that's, that's super tough um, so again, if y'all want them 15,000 pistachios, I know y'all, y'all know it's, y'all know who got to call in. You just got to wait on one particular individual, you know, well, I mean, I don't, look, ain't nobody care about strong men, goddamn. <laughs> you know, but my thing is, is simply this, man. It's unfortunate, right? Because we're in the day and age of strong women. This is just no longer about the strong men, you know, especially with all the, I don't even want to call it the new women's lib because back then I think it was more of an issue with women getting equality and things of that nature. Now I think it's more let's find anything that we can to complain about and make it a big issue. What's the motherfucking deal? Who do we have calling in to the den this evening? Comedycalls.com The preceding message was sent directly to your... We didn't even get the, the prank. Boo. Um... So my thing is this though, my thing is this is like now, I mean, this is why I say this is why I don't give a shit about the, the other issues and the fact that this is why I be trying to tell black folks like, man, you get caught up, you getting caught up and you running with that camp, I don't, I don't really give a shit about your issues either because now you got the people mad because who was it? Scarlett Johansson, strong woman, was supposed to be playing a trans man in a movie. Well, if you're starting out as a woman and turning into a trans man, I think it, 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 it gives it more reality from that aspect than just getting a real trans person, trans man, woman, tranny, whatever you want to call it, to play the role. Like, if it starts out as a woman that turns into a man, why not have it start out as a woman who plays the actress or actor and turn it into, you know, dress it up as a man. They're complaining about everything. Right, everything is a complaint. Like, I don't care. That's not a real fucking issue. I don't care about that. And so, <clears throat> with people making big deals about all this type of shit, like, how can I give a fuck about that? You, 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 you blow this up and make this a problem. This is a trivial thing. This is a very minor thing in this game that we call life. And if this is the type of shit that you're just attaching yourself, these are your, these are the rights you're fighting for. Man, I don't give a fuck about your rights. <laughs> like. It's just like, I, I don't really give a shit. You know what I'm saying? So, there's that. You can go into sales. Sales? Sale? Like, 
shell, the one shell, or have they added more shells to it? I can't, I can't talk shit, because I'd be saying it when I say I'm going to go to Kroger's, but it's really just Kroger. Like, I'm going to go to multiple Kroger stores or some shit. Um, yeah, you know, so there's that one. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it definitely wasn't uh, Sweet Bear. I don't know, it might be what Sweet Bear sound like. Like a uh, Stripe. What was his name? Was it Spike or was it Stripe? The damn gremlin. You know what I'm saying? Okay, don't don't pour no water on him after wherever. And, and don't feed it after midnight. It's over with. So. Forty-five points. So the, what you're telling me is they have to answer 23 questions correctly on a test that has shit between the two you said about 150 <clears throat> close to about 150 but you said almost 70 on the reading I think about close to 50 60 on the math and then however many on the science so you're telling me they just have to get 23 fucking answers right <clears throat> in a fucking hour and a half that fucking shit is, that's terrible. That makes me extremely sad. Makes me want to cry. And get some of that vitamin water. That's like sugar water, Kool-Aid. Um, if you go in the store, get a, get a big peach and uh, some munchos. You know what I'm talking about? So, there's that. Y'all ain't fuck with much of y'all. Y'all don't know nothing about that. That uh, uh ain't nobody call that. Who about look? If you gonna call, just call. Like why you gotta? They gotta make an announcement for the call. Call, shit. Uh, really? Munchos, nigga. If you don't get no, not no munchies. Munchos. Munchies. Oh, what the hell is some munchies? You know what I'm saying? Uh, so yes, munchos. Get you some munchos, man. Now I thought I thought Sweet Berry was gonna call in. All right, here I'll make y'all. I'll make y'all another deal. If if Sweet Berry doesn't want to be the pistachio savior, if female pimp can call in and make a valid point about anything relevant to today's conversation. I will give y'all, y'all won't get 15,000. I'll give everybody, I'll give everybody 2,500. She, she, she might be worth 2,500, I don't know. That's about as, uh, that's about all I can give you. Sweet Berry will get y'all 15,000. Um, female Pimp will get y'all 2,500. What's the motherfucking deal? Who we got calling in to the den this evening? Yo, yo, it's who raw, bro. You hear me? Yes, sir. Who raw? What's the motherfucking deal, man? What's on your mind this evening, man? Man, I'm just calling to see how you doing, bro. How you doing? Man, I'm good, man. I'm good, man. It's been a minute since I heard, man. I don't think I'd heard from you since, <laughs> since the Chicago Mike call, man. Yeah, it's been a minute, man. I was just, uh, you know, what's the, what's the topic tonight? Man, we're we talking about strong... Do men like strong women? Fuck yeah. We love strong <laughs> women, man. You know, we love we love the women that can put us in our place at the same time can understand how we are as men. You feel me? Yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that. Uh, but, you know, at the same time, I love a woman that can see where a nigga at and then kind of finagle her way into the building. You know what I mean? Okay. So, she may she may be like, she may be like, okay, well, yeah, I see this nigga, you know, I see his uh, improvement, I see the way that this nigga moving and shit. But at the same time, I want to see if this nigga gonna be able to put in all of the, you know, the the the, the small goals that require for a nigga to be strong. Okay. So a woman don't want a nigga that that's just gonna be able to be out here talking this shit. She want a nigga that's gonna be able to prove this shit. You feel me? Yeah, I feel. You. Prove it. Don't talk about it. Be about it. 
Exactly. So talk about it. Don't be about it. Just be about what you're going to talk about. So a lot of women out here, they don't know what they want. You feel me? They they think they know what they want. But at the end of the day, I don't think they know what they want. I think they just, you know, kind of just analyze a couple of situations, see some shit off on IG or some shit off on Twitter. Bro, you know what? I want that nigga. But you can't have that nigga. That nigga ain't really, you know what I mean? Ain't really in tune to what he's supposed to be doing. Okay. So, is that what you think? You think that like, you made a good point about a lot of women don't really know what they want. They see something and it looks good to them, but what if they're not really in a position themselves to to handle something like that? You know, you you see women all the time talking about, oh, he can't handle me, he can't handle this. Mm -hmm. Why do you think it's, it's mm -hmm. women? They feel like they have access to any man as opposed to a man he knows what levels of woman that he can deal with. Well, you know, there's a lot of niggas out here that try to act like they're the big ass niggas, man, but they ain't, they ain't really about it. You know what I mean? They ain't really, they ain't really, they ain't really in tune to who they, who they supposed to be. You know what I mean? There's a lot of niggas out here that talk a lot of bullshit, try to act like a lot of other motherfuckers, but they ain't really in tune to do the things that they need to do in order to be that nigga. Yeah. I agree. I agree with that 100%. In order to be that nigga, you have to be able to be able to be coachable. You feel me? You gotta yes. be able to be coachable to the ideas of what women want you as well. A lot of niggas, they see me off TV, okay, all right, well, this nigga's like this, so I gotta be like this. But in reality, nigga, just be yourself. If you be yourself, you be straight. Exactly, exactly. And that's the problem. Most people, they emulating all this. They, they don't realize how fictional television really is. And so they emulating all this bullshit yeah. they see on TV and the internet knowing that people just putting on a show. Um, so, man, how the music been coming along, man? Shit, man, you know how it is, man. Got to work a little regular job in order to get back into the studio. But, shit, I'm going to get back on it. All right, all right, man. Like I say, just, look, keep me updated. Let me know, you know, and then let the people know, shit, where, you know, we can catch some or we can hear some of the music, man. Because, like I say, you've been showing love for a long time, and I definitely want any kind of support that I can offer, any kind of, you know, anything I can do to push your name, put your name out there, man. Just let me know. For sure. All right, mate. You uh, y'all keep it cool, man. I'll be in the chat, mate. Y'all keep it straight. All right, man. Good to hear from you, Rob. Man, I'm glad you called in tonight. For sure. All right. Straight up, that's my nigga right there, man. <laughs> and look, the first time he called in, he got at with Chicago. Michael was tripping, man. Look. Rob's on the line, he wasn't, he wasn't fucking with him, he wasn't having that shit. Uh, for Breeze Drinker, what's the motherfucking deal? Oh, uh, yes, yes. Let's see, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What y'all, what y'all gonna talk about? What y'all talking about that's nasty? Man, like I said, you hate that I need a man to handle me shit, like you wanna handle me. Yeah, and that's, that's the thing, dude, man, they don't wanna to handle you. You know what I'm saying? And what he said about a, a, a chick just checking to see if he's really doing it. And the chick who sees that a man is really doing something, a strong woman is going to be, like I said, be that backbone. When that man is, is is you know, sometimes you get worn out battling with the world. I mean, like, when I say battling with the world, I'm not saying you're going out. Like, as soon as you step out the door, you, you punch and kick and fight and shoot and stab it. But <clears throat> the world can, can apply a certain level of pressure on a man and a strong woman is to be that backbone to help that man continue paving that path so uh what's the motherfucking deal who do we have calling in to the den this evening that's y'all for the group <laughs> uh well miss sweetberry I, I i accidentally roamed you a little bit uh <laughs> so so miss sweetberry what what is what are your thoughts on on, on tonight's topic um, did you let everybody know this sweet berry calling in? Yes, yes, yes. We'll, we'll, we'll handle the pistachio situation shortly after the call. I just want to, I just want to ask you a few questions, Miss Sweetberry. Okay, go ahead, Hancho. How you doing today? I'm, 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 I'm doing good. Uh, so, Miss Sweetberry, you have been, uh, allegedly called a bully in the chat. Why do you bully people in the chat, Miss Sweetberry? That I be bullied. You know what? They are damn damn. I don't bully nobody. That, that ain't nothing but a bunch of bullshit. 
Oh shit! Oh shit! I just broke my cup. Yeah, see, but look, but see, here's the, here's the messed up part, Sweetberry. Look, see, you could have you could have got away with some love, Sweetberry, but you gonna you gonna fry it for yourself. You could have got the win. Yeah, Sweetberry, mm-hmm. I was trying to get us all the pistachio. Mm-hmm. Why why you tell me out like that, man? Mm-hmm. Yeah, see, y'all that one t- cool. I'll tell y'all, women can't stick together. I'm looking, look, look, I be trying to tell man, you. Man, you supposed to be in a sisterhood. I was trying to get the get the pistachio for the sister. Mm. What's up with that, man? Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, man, man. So how do you feel, though, Miss Rashida? How do you feel about, uh, do you think that men really want to deal with strong women? No. What? And why do you say that? I don't think, I don't think men like strong women. I think they like women that they can control. What? Why do you think that? Yeah. Well, if that's not the case, why are so many single independent women? I don't think all the women are truly independent, and I think a lot of women don't want to. I don't think you're just strong because there's a lot of women with bad attitudes out there, and I don't think bad attitude just equals strong or just because you've hey, been through Sarah, something. Hey, Sarah, you didn't have to call me no bootleg. We did. <laughs> that shit was funny, though. <laughs> yeah. So my, my thing is, say James Baldwin, Nikki Giovanni, I'm going to talk about that up. But my thing is, you know, I don't think that necessarily has anything to do with it because you can just have somebody who just got a stank-ass attitude and don't have nothing going for them. And that doesn't make them strong. It just means they got a shitty attitude and somebody may not want to put up with that. And I think there's a lot of women yeah. who kind of have... Th- th- that's where I think the lines get drawn. Like, strong is not the level of attitude to me. Strong is what you can deal with and rise above. Not just deal with and exist in. I mean, not just survive in, but thrive. So that means to... I done been through this, this, this in my life and I've still found a way to be successful. I've still found a way to come out on top and do better than you know average uh i think there's a lot of people who are existing slash surviving that have, may have come out of bad circumstances or may have had bad situations in their life i don't think that necessarily just makes you strong just because you no. are surviving so that's what i think a lot of people get confused and at the same time that you know i think there's a lot of women out here because again like i say like you said independent and there's nothing wrong with being independent but independent is going to get you a certain response. And so independent, you can't approach somebody and, and, and expect them to want to have a relationship mentality, but you only want to bring an independent mentality to it. That now there's two different agendas coming to the table. That's never going to work out. So if you're seeking a relationship, then that independent mentality has to kind of get pushed to the back burner, if you know what I mean. So what I'm saying is not saying that don't be independent because all relationships aren't going to work out, but if, okay, you talking to somebody and say, hey, you know what, uh, I like this person. I think that, you know, there may be a possibility of, you know, may, maybe trying to have something long term. Well, you can keep your independent actions, but that's not the thing that you want to put out uh, in the forefront. That's not the you that you want to represent. Well, I don't need you for this, 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 and this. It's not about needing somebody. You know, it's about, of course, you know what you have, but it's about being able to show that side of you that you want uh, a person to interact with. But when you always approach well, stuff from... When you, get, when you get done, female pimp said, call her. I ain't finna call female pimp. Um, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what this look like? That look like, this look like, uh, what was that, Too Short and, and Lil' Kim? There ain't no call me. What you think this is? Um, so, you know, my thing is just that... Well, you gonna have to call in female because he's trying, he trying not to give us some special. That's mm-hmm. what he on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're like, I can't call you to give you no pistachio. You got to call in to get the pistachio. But no, but I think I think there's a lot of that. And I think that people kind of, you, you got to show a different side of yourself, I think. That's why I think there's a lot of women who are, quote unquote, independent, but single. Mm-hmm. Because they're putting that, that independent mentality first. And so if that's what you're putting out there to the world, that's what the world is going to give you back. But I think a lot of time when you independent, you just don't don't feel like you got to put up with bullshit. Mm-hmm. And when you spend bullshit, you be ready to drop them as soon as, as, soon as possible. But is it when is you, when you detect the bullshit, you be on it. You be like, No, but, I don't need you. You ain't doing shit for me. You ain't paying any bills. So But see that's part of the that. problem though. But that's part of the problem. So instead of sensing bullshit, what if you're actually anticipating bullshit and you're you you just assuming it's bullshit? So like say you know, you're not paying his bills. You're not doing this for me. You're not doing this for me. So what if a man that we've talked about, we, we hear both sides of the aisle all the time, and I'm not blaming women on this. I'm just using this as an example. You you mentioned paying it's, the bills. It's this, on this. both sides. So yeah. Sometimes you got your guard up, and then sometimes he really is on bullshit. So, mm-hmm. you know, it, it could be both parties guilty of it. Yeah. So. 
Yeah. And so my thing is, you don't know what the what they previously dealt with. They don't know what you previously dealt with. Right. The, honestly, to find love, to find a good relationship, it's a risk and it's 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 pain. Because here's here's my deal: love is a beautiful thing. You know what I'm saying? When you find somebody you, you know, really so love, both people just have to be ready to accept love. That that's yeah. the bottom line. Yeah, and that's the you thing. Know, you got to be open to it. Yeah, so. and, and if not, otherwise it'll be. It'll be a tough road if you're thinking you want it, but you're not really ready to open yourself. It, vulnerability, that's the word I was looking for. That You're going to have to open up and show a vulnerable side of yourself. If that's what you, If you're trying to be with somebody who's supposed to be your better half or your counteract your actions or whatever it is, you have to show a level of vulnerability. And I think a lot of people don't want to do that because I think a lot of people have shown that and have gotten taken advantage of. And so that's why that guard is always up. That's why that, that wall is always up. And I think that's why it's difficult for a lot of people to come together. You know, I think that's that's part of the problem. And I don't think you can really blame anybody. It's just the circumstances that they dealt with up until the point that they uh, that they are at right at that at time in their lives. I want to know who who in the chat said I bullied them because I would like to address that situation. Mm -mm, no, they they was talking about the real. Like <laughs> no, they was talking about the real sweet berry. Sweet berry really be out there bullying people, uh, oh, yeah. running running up on people, tapping them on the back of their shoulder. They turn around, she throw a challenge in their face. You know, they wasn't even ready for it. She come in the come in but the chat stealing. She don't want everybody to get no pistachio. She said she gonna pick and choose to get them. So oh, oh, it don't, it, oh, oh, it don't work like that. That's not look. This is like uh, this is this is pistachio reparations. You know, everybody gonna get them. I can't I can't do a DNA check, so everybody get them. <laughs> mm -hmm. So no, here's the deal. All right, let me let me see let me see if I can throw another caveat out there. Um. I don't know. I'm 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 gonna have to think about this. I'm gonna have to think about this one because it's it's gonna be tough. I gotta I gotta motivate Sweetberry to call in instead of just being a, a exactly, chat bully. Sarah. You, you people do have to uh, can't bring their baggage into a new relationship. You do have to start every relationship like it's fresh. Yeah, and that's that's the uh... <laughs> yeah that's that's part of it. Yeah, and that's that's the thing. I think a lot of people bring old baggage. And it's, <coughs> Excuse me. I'm bringing old sneezes into the shit. Oh. <coughs> it's cold in the garage. You better cut your heat on. Nah, see, this hot in the bitch of this motherfucker. Hold on one sec. Give me, give, um, me, give me. It might be a little dusty or something. Hold somebody on. Somebody says you be sitting there with your drawers on. Is that true? <laughs> Hold up. <coughs> oh, it's true because you, you took too long to answer. Ladies, he be sitting there in his drawers. Yeah, yeah, I'll be, I'll be, look, I, had to, I had to put the thing down. I had to go get me something to sneeze into and shit. Uh, you better yeah. get you some cough medicine or something. Um, no, I think it's just... You I, probably I, don't take medicine, though, dude. No, it's just dusty in this motherfucker. I need to clean up. That's what I need to do. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I've been in this motherfucker free balling. You know what I'm saying? All that good shit. That's why I say, that's why y'all only see yeah, that's why that's why you drill, Miss. You right about that. Being a drill. Yeah, or put sleep you on. some um doctor tipsness and put you some honey in there. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to have me. I'm finna be peace. Yeah. I'm gonna be falling asleep on the stream. <laughs> I need some milk. There you go. <laughs> Get him some milk. Uh that might be the problem. Uh Trill say you the robot tussing. Mm. He said tussing, huh? Mm. You know, he country. I think he meant robot tussing. Mm -hmm. That tussing, that tussing gonna fix it. Man, that's what I ain't been looking. I ain't really been listening. I ain't gonna lie. What I what I've been listening to. Somebody say you be listening to some weak singer. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. I, I ain't look. You know what I might be? I might cause I was listening to that KC singing and taking that chicken. That's what I've been listening to all day. Um, but I'm trying to think who I've been listening to. I ain't really been listening. Actually, I've been I've been having that Victory Lab back on repeat. I've been I've been back on that Victory Lab pretty tough. Hey Craig, how you doing? Mm -hmm. I, I forgot to speak to you when I was in that early. But uh, yeah, man. So, uh, we there. You doing all that left? You better call in because I'm on my 15, 25,000 pistachios. You, you know what? You know what I'm finna do. Actually, this is what I'm finna do. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm finna change the game up. Everybody who call in this evening. 
And Fuss said Sweet Berry going to get a bonus. So Miss Bell said Sweet Berry need to call in. You said Sweet Berry. I'm going to give y'all a little bonus. You know what I'm saying? That's that's how I'm going to handle it. Since uh, Sweet Berry want to act funny, I'll, get you, I'll hook y'all up with some of this virtual money. Let me let me, let me give it. Oh, I'm getting 25000 for that show. Well, I, I wasn't saying now. You know, I was going to say a little, a little 5000 You know, I don't know about twenty five. But I'm going to give I mean, I'm, I done put on the whole show and everything. You know? <laughs> You did, you did, came with, the, came with the voice and everything. Okay, okay. Exactly. All right, let me see. Oh, me. she said, no, she finna call in. So mm-hmm. do you got any more questions? Because I'm going to let her, I'm going to hand it on over to her. Okay, no, man, I'm still looking. I'm still finna, I'm still, still finna get Miss Bell uh, hers. And Rashida's still going to get hers. I, see, I had to go to these desperate measures um, to get you that. Oh, yeah, like, I see it. 5,000, that's right. Let me see, let me that's get Miss right. Bell. And here's the deal. Now, look, if... If female pimp call in before Sweetberry call in, then everybody gonna get pistachios except for Sweetberry. I don't think female pimp got no minutes on her phone, but she said you gotta call her. But mm. so people say that they ain't got no minutes on their phone. Mm, well, that's that's tough. So it's... you gonna have to call her. Mm. She goes. You know how you can call somebody can call you, but you can't call out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she gonna be out of luck. She got that. That's that Obama phone. You know she ain't got no minutes. Yeah. Like, I can't help her with that. <laughs> well, that's a bad Miss Russell. Let's let's see who gonna call and let's see gonna get some pistachios tonight and who ain't. But uh, right, I definitely appreciate. And don't none of y'all don't none of y'all other people ring this line. Let <laughs> let we very appreciate them in. We go we gonna see who about that action. It's, it's sad. Yeah, it's the route we gotta go. All right, all right. Did I answer everything you had? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Right. Well, you take something for that cold now. We can't have you out here speak. Yeah, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna give me some, some tums or something. I don't even know if that works for colds. <laughs> I'm just gonna take some random medicine and see what happens. But no, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be all right. I appreciate it. Well, you take care of yourself now. All right, I will. I will. I definitely will. All right. All right, Miss Rashid. Appreciate you calling in. No problem. Bye-bye. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's the motherfucking deal? Who do we have calling in to the den this evening? All right. Hello, hello, hello. Hello? Hello? Testing, testing, yes. one, two. Yes, is, is anybody on yes, the phone? Yes, who is this? Who, but you, you call me? What, don't you hate when people do that shit? They call you talking about who this, who number this is. So who is this? Hello, Flo. Hello? Hello. Hello. Who, who, who do we have on the phone this evening? Lady Pimpin. I've never heard of Lady Pimpin. This is uh, I've heard of Lady Vicious. I've heard of Female Pimp. I've never heard of Lady Pimpin. Oh, what is this Female Pimp? What's going on? Okay. So, Miss Female Pimp, what do you have to say about tonight's topic? Tonight? Yes, tonight's topic. Your forehead is is kind of big. <laughs> So you got jokes? I don't know what I'm supposed to be talking about. Uh, let's talk about the high level of illiteracy in California. You're actually a Californian, so you would know about this firsthand, about struggling to, to read and write. So let's talk about that. Struggling to read and write? Yes. Why does, every, why, why does everything that you put in the chat have some type of misspelling in it? Uh, I couldn't tell you. Hmm, that's, that sounds like the. Uh, how many pistachios do we get? That's all I want to know. But you're not gonna get no motherfucking pistachios. I told, I said that you have to call in and say something relevant to the conversation, but you have failed to do so far. Oh, I thought I was supposed to call and talk about your forehead. Fuck that. Mm-mm. No, that's that's gonna get. Me. That's just gonna get your pistachios taken. Hmm. Mm. I just wanted some pistachios. I was trying to help everybody. Man. Mm. Mm. That's tough. That's tough. 
So ultimately, you went on a mission and have have failed. Why well, I didn't hear you what? So so you you went on this mission and then you failed. I don't know why you hating on me so hard. I'm, I'm not hating. I laid the stipulation. I said all female pimp has to do is call in and say something relevant to tonight's topic. I even tried to lay the foundation for you. I even reminded you as to what you were supposed to say. And you said nothing. Relevant to the conversation. What, what was we talking about again? I'm not going to remind you twice. Hmm? I said I'm not going to oh, remind you twice. Oh, strong women. Okay, uh strong women you like uh you like women with mustaches and beards fuck no that's not a woman that's that's some other shit a strong beard no that's disgusting i know i know that's how you like your nazi plumbers in your in your dvd bootleggers but no that's not how i like my women uh, so is Sweetberry calling now, or what? Are we all gonna get pistachio rich tonight? Well, here's here's the caveat now that you called in and you didn't say anything. If Sweetberry calls in, then everybody will get pistachios except for you. Wow. All you, I mean, all you, you had one job. I made it super simple. All you have to do is say something relevant to the conversation. That's it. I don't think it's that hard. I think that's a very easy task. I'm illiterate, stupid. That's probably the greatest quote I've ever heard in the den. <laughs> That's the greatest quote I've ever heard in the I'm illiterate, stupid. That is the greatest, hands down. Uh, I think that we have topped everything and everyone. I, that. I can't believe I got played for some fucking pistachios. Mm, That's tough. I gotta, yeah, definitely gotta write that down. That that is that is one for the ages. If y'all know how how I'm I'm dying inside right now. That is that is pure gold. Uh, that shit is is. See, you're not just playing me. You're playing everybody. Everybody mad at you. Ain't nobody mad at me. They talk about you. They ain't talking about me. <laughs> That's it. She has not talked about the top. She has not said anything relevant. She talked about circus freaks and shit. You know what I'm saying? Well, she don't have an old shut up. Mm, mm. See, they talking about you. You see, I thought you couldn't read, but you're reading the chat. I just clicked it on. Oh. So let me let me see if I can help you out. Maybe I can help get you on topic. So how long you been diking? How long I been what? How long you been diking? Been who? How long have you been diking? Alright. How long you been diking? How long you been? Well, I've been fucking hoes for a long time. Turning up for a long time. <laughs> a long time. So yes, I've been I've been I guess you wanna call it diking is I've had uh and a fascination with women since the day I was born, so I've definitely been, uh, I've been diking for a long time. So, like, do you, like so, like, you be, um, you be wearing, like, men's yeah. clothes, you, you, you go in the men's section and, like, buying all the striped polos? What? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, well, I gotta go. All righty. <laughs> well, shout out for female pill for trying. Uh, I cannot say that that was a successful endeavor. You know, asked about bearded motherfuckers. What's the motherfucker deal? Who do we have calling into the den this evening? Hello, it's Sweetberry32. <laughs> it's Sweetberry killing my pistachio. Never. So now Sweetberry sound like a man. God damn. Oh, yeah. I want my pistachio. Give well, my shit. Mm -hmm. See, so I, it, it only makes sense to Sweetberry be in the chat bullying people. She do, but she, she, you know, you might be uh, 
the bully. That might be why it is. That's why we have no problem deboing motherfuckers. I see, I see now. Hey, hey, nigga, give us our shit right now. <laughs> Why, why are you watching? Now sit y'all ass down, goddamn. Uh, mm, that's tough. That's tough. Man. Somebody that I thought just sweet bear was a dude that seemed as funny as fuck. Sweet bear said, they gonna get on you, man, till you look. Look, I'm just telling you. Let me, let me give Miss Meat her, her stash. Matter, matter of fact, she's gonna get 6000 One for uh, encouraging. And then, you know, the regular oh. thousand for calling in. Okay, so just tell her all she got to do is call in and say, you know where she lives? But she's got to be her area code. Just, just, just sweet bear chat. Shawty, listen. Just call and say, hey, what's up, y'all? This is you all statio. Mm. That's it. That's it. Is that all she got to say or do she got to talk about the top? Uh, Sweet Berry just got a call in. That's all she got to do. I, I'm, making okay. it, I'm making it super easy. But it can't just be like a, hey, what's up? It's got to be... A, a ten word minimum. That's it. Ten words. I'll, I'll be. I don't think that's ten words. You know. Hey, what's up to the den? I love y'all. All right, give me my pistachios. Bye. That's all. It's got to be. Could be something just like that. And that's all it's got to be. <laughs> I'm in here dying laughing. I can't hear you, Hancho. Mm -hmm. What? Uh, oh, there. I can't hear I'm, you now. No, I'm just. I'm just. I'm, I'm, I'm issuing out these uh, pistachio rations. That's all. Make sure, make sure everybody getting their pistachios. Uh, <clears throat> but on the topic, though, uh, I think most real men mm -hmm. do want a strong woman. Okay. That's my opinion. Most real men, mm -hmm. not the you know, not the ones who elevators don't go to the top, just stuck in the basement singing. You know, not. The one who flew over the cuckoo's nest, you know. They don't want nobody with no real power. You know, that's, that's just, I mean, not power, like strong. Like, and when you say strong, like, I think some people think you're talking about a loud mouth, you know, a woman who's around talking noise all the time. That's not it. A strong woman, to me, my opinion, holds it down, you know, uh, whether it be, you know, um, holding him down while he's working or whatever, or, you know, and people go through things, you know, and he might lose his job for some reason. You hold him down, that's a strong woman, you know, and I'm not saying he's going to lay up on you for years and shit, because that ain't going to work, but, you know, to me, a strong woman is a woman that holds him down, yeah. regardless of what, what it may be, you see what I mean? Yeah. But I know a lot of men don't like it, but most of the men who don't like it. I'm telling you, they crazy. They crazy as fuck. Like they off. Like they don't want a woman to do anything. And you know, I've seen a lot of examples in my life. Like you know, I have, right now, actually, my husband's cousin. She actually, he's the cousin, and she's his wife. But anyway, she went back to school. And she lost a lot of weight. <clears throat> so he cheated on her with even bigger girls. I'm like, what the fuck is you know? And he just downs her and puts her down. You know. And I'll be telling her, girl, don't worry about that. You go to school and you keep doing you. Mm -hmm. Because it, that's one of the men I'm talking about. They don't want no woman to do anything but get up and fix his 400-pound ass or strawberry cake in the middle of the night. You know, don't, that's, not, that's, that's his definition of a strong woman. That's not a strong woman. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I guess it just depends. Real men. That's it. A real man mm -hmm. wants a strong woman. And, and you know... But like like I said, some people they they have different you know different definitions of a strong woman. But to me, I don't think a strong woman is she hold it down, handle her shit, handle his shit. Why if he going through shit, he handle his shit. I mean that's 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 what make relationships strong. That's what make people strong. You know, you got a lot of people. I mean, I told y'all about my sister. They ain't, you know. They strong women, but they different kind of strong women. Hmm. You see what I mean? They they just it it it's a difference. You know, they strong as as far as getting what they want and need at different costs. And to me, that's not. I mean, they handle their shit. You know, they they my sisters. I love them, so I ain't you know. But it's, it's just different definitions to some people. But you know, you gotta hold it down for them. Hey, Sweetberry, call in, sugar. <laughs> he said ten words, just ten words. 
That's it. That's it. She th- I think she think we pimping her out. We ain't pimping her out. We just want some stuff. So that's all. We just want some mm-hmm. positive. Okay, look, look. That's uh, it. We, we, so uh, I think I think we uh I think we we got an established connection. So we gonna we gonna see if she gonna call in. I thought, we we gonna see. So look, you have been motivated. You have been inspired, Miss Sweetberry. <clears throat> let's let's find it out. Let's see what's she. Oh, one more thing, the education mm-hmm. thing. Okay. Um, I was listening to everybody earlier, and I was just like, I don't think you should ever tell somebody don't go to school because. Me uh, being laid off in March and, you know, looking online, just put in applications. Like, you may have all the experience in the world, but first of all, they want to see that degree. Are you trying to work toward that degree, even though you might do that job better than the next man? But you got to at least be working toward something. You have to, these days, it's not no grandfather in. See, the old days was you knew somebody that knew somebody and your ass got grandfather in and now you a supervisor and you ain't went to school a day, you know, you didn't graduate from high school, you didn't go to college but yet you the manager of this whole freaking place, you know. But these days it's not like that. You gotta have something, you gotta show you're doing something. You know, that's <clears throat> that's why I started going back to school. I just never thought that the job I've been on for all those years that, you know, were in abruptly like that. And, you know, I probably could have been working on a degree, but I was so comfortable at what I was doing and I was still making money. I was getting raised and didn't nothing change. You know, I have some college. I didn't finish my degree, but I do have some college. But I see now how important it is. So, you know, regardless, and my thing was in my household, you don't graduate high school, you don't go to college. You can go to technical. I didn't make them go to university. I was explaining them about loan school loans, and this is going to happen. So my daughter that passed away, she was like, yeah, I know about loans, but in my field, if I teach for two years, then um, a lot of my school debt will be forgiven. So she had a plan with hers. And, um, you know, my other daughter, she just went back, you know, because she's been going through a lot. She lost a whole sister, so. But she's going back to get her uh, master's now in accounting, you know, she already got her associates and all that. So she's back in school now, which I encourage all the time. She, you got to go to school. There, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it these days. There's, there's not. If you don't, you know, want all the university prices, you know, technical college is not that much. It's, it's really not. And most of the time, most of these jobs pay for it. You see, that's the kind of jobs I look for, for people with benefits and the give you back reimbursement for school and things like that. So most of these, uh, you know, jobs, they pay for it now, but there's no getting around not going to school anymore unless you make Amazon in your garage or Apple in your basement. Hey, more power to you. That's what you was meant to do, you smart fuck. Hey. <laughs> but, you know, I'm, I'm serious. But there's no getting around not getting some kind of education. Nice. Some kind of education. There's no getting around. But, yeah, you know how you got to do you know, it's gonna be, you know, but I'm pretty sure you still have some kind of education, <laughs> you know. Um, look, look, and, like, I, I need to, I ain't, I ain't finished nothing. I need to go back and, and fin- I'm, I'm shit, all my shit probably like it's been so long since I've been scalding credits, probably ain't worth the fuck no more. I'm probably gonna start from scratch, but I ain't really tripping. I've been thinking about it. Shit, your ass start getting rich out there, you ain't going back to school. You can oh, fuck man, it. Man. You be like Amazon. You yeah. see how much his wife getting. <laughs> Look, they, better, they, better, they better give me an honorary degree, goddamn it! Look, I want one of them honorary doctors and shit. <laughs> no, that's just like getting a trophy for losing. Man, a fucking hey. honorary degree. Man, look, if, if, as long as it works for me, show my grandma. I can say, hey, look, I got one. She cool with it. I ain't tripping on this shit. <laughs> that's, that pizza, that's that pizza party you get for losing. Hey, you you just talking about mm-mm, that? Mm-mm, but I'm gonna look. But if I log into the account, and the account say winner. The degree can say whatever the fuck you want. I ain't got to spell my name right on that motherfucker as long as the account look good. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Now, but I feel you. I feel you definitely. I'd rather put the work in. You know, you don't want the, uh, the honorary nonsense. I feel you on that. I do feel you on that. She says she's not going to call anymore. Did she try to get the sweet bear? You tried to call. Yeah, she tried to call. Nah, because I would have told her. I would have told her to hang up on me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, she tried to call. She, she talked she, to anybody, and she called in to hang up on me. No, well, she, 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 she didn't try to call in a couple times. It's all good. We're going we gonna, to we gonna make it. We're going to make it shake. I was just, I was just uh, doing some stuff. Hey, I'm, I'm going to end the call with you. We're going to let her call in. So don't all nobody right. call in but sweet bear. All right. Yeah, so we're going we to take right. this call. All right. All right. How is y'all? All right. Bet. <clears throat> the 
line is free for sweet berry. Let us see. So we go see what you're talking about, man. We go see what you're talking about. <clears throat> What's the motherfucking deal? Who do we have calling into the den this evening? Sweetberry 32, present and accounted for. Sweetberry 32. Oh, you got you to gotta repeat that because I, I had you wrong. I'm sorry, I'm having a very bad connection. No, I said I, I, had, I had you wrong. I need you, to, I need you to repeat that real quick. Nah. I need you to repeat that so the people, <laughs> so the people can know. <laughs> I understand Sweetberry 32, present and accounted for. Okay. So what, what was so hard about that? Like, what, what was it so hard to call it? I tried like six, seven, eight, nine, ten times. But I'm talking about prior to this. Like, why were you so adamant about not calling it? Oh, no. I just don't like my phone voice. That's all. Well, if you don't get off the gas, come on now. You know, look, I love, I love all the den folk. We got some den folk in here that sound a little crazy. I still love them. Shannon sound like she about True, four that. years old. And she called in all the time. We love to hear what Shannon say. Uh, so, man, phone voice is not a thing. We all friends in the den. And I'm glad that you finally called in. But now that I got you online, I want to know your opinion. I want to know your opinion. I want you to share, me with you, share your opinion on strong men or strong women and how do men feel about strong women. Oh. Um. In my experience, um, I think people consider me a strong woman. So um, I haven't, um, I've come across men who love it. Um, they find it a bit intimidating, but, but you know, it don't stop us from giving me the dick. So it's all good. Whoa, 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 whoa. okay, okay. So you, you intimidate uh, the dick. Is that what you're <laughs> people saying? People find me intimidating. I don't know why, but. Okay. Would you say that you're aggressive? Yes, I can be. Okay. Of course, you all know that. Okay, so you, with those pistachios. Yeah, I see, I see, I see, I see. You wouldn't, you wouldn't let the opportunity pass you by. Okay, okay. Um, yeah. So, have you? But you say that it doesn't stop from giving you the dick, and, and that you consider yourself strong. Have you ever? Do you think that you have ever scared a man out of wanting to fuck with you? Possibly. If so, he's never told me. Okay. So I guess he wasn't worth fucking with anyway. So you know, okay. he's scared to say it. Yeah, he his mind around me. Yeah, we'll get it to you anyway. Yeah, you might have put some on him. He might not have been ready for it. Okay, okay. All right, all right. Well, Miss Sweetberry, I will be a man of my word, and I will pay up everyone um, their 15K pistachio. I took notes of everybody who was in when she called, so don't be trying to slide in late time, but oh, uh, I need my pistachios. Uh, so I took notes when she's been calling in, so I know who, who is all getting their pistachios. And I will give Miss Sweetberry okay. a pistachio bonus. For being a good sport and taking a little bit of den bashing, uh, so I, I'll make sure that you, you you get a little bonus in your pistachio action. Uh, anything else that you would like to Aww. add, Miss Sweetberry? Oh no, that's it. Uh, just glad I was finally able to get in. <laughs> okay, okay, well, okay. But now you know what this means, right? You do know what this means, right? That means I'm expecting you, you to call. You want to hear more of me? Yep, I, you want to hear me? You want to have me call in? And... Yep, you ain't got no excuses no more. I want to hear <laughs> more calls. So now when we're on the line, you're going to be talking all that shit in the chat. I'm saying, uh-uh, hit the line up. I want to okay. So that's, that's what we're doing. Well, you got it. All right, that's you got it. I'll good. call you more. All right, well, appreciate it, Miss Sweetberry. Thank you for calling in this evening. Oh, you're welcome. Bye-bye. Right. Right. Goodbye. All right, all right, all right. So let me, let me, start, let me start paying up these stachios. Shout out to Miss Sweetberry for being a good sport. <laughs> already, already. Um, yeah, see, look, look, all that, it wasn't even, you, you, I think it was, it's mowing your head. You made it worse in your mind than it really is. Sound like a normal person to me. Um, look, let me not, let me not pull up. So everybody gets some except for female pimp. Female pimp was talking shit, so I told her if Sweetberry called in before she did, she wasn't going to get them. So, everybody who is in here will get their due. I got my little list. I got my little list. <laughs> Don't be telling niggas you be in there. I got you. I got you, buddy. Make sure I got these numbers right. Oh, this, this would be the easiest thing to do. I guess it makes the most sense, right? Uh, just put the name in. So, 
Interesting, interesting. Uh, like I said, we still got about uh, 20 more minutes. Or actually, a little bit, a little bit. Um, I'm not about that. I, I did get started a little bit late dealing with the what's my collar. So, but I fuck with y'all, then, folks. I do. <laughs> y'all some good. Stuff. I'm laughing at everybody who called in with the with the, <laughs> with the voices. Um, everybody calling in with the voices to uh, act like sweet berry. That's that's fucking funny as shit. That's funny as hell. Um, let me see where I'm at. Where I'm at. Where I'm at. Let me check my list. Let me let, let me mark my list as I go down. Uh, bow. Um, bow. Okay. But yeah. So. Everybody coming up tonight, everybody gonna be sitting fat with the stachios. Alright, we'll take this call while I'm uh passing out pistachios like snacks at a at a field trip. What's the motherfucker deal? Who we got calling into the den this evening? Uh excuse me, my brother. Is this the line for the women bash? Yes, yes, this is the women bashing hotline. Uh what, what, what would you like to drop uh on these these uh, uh, I can't even say what I want to say. I had I had something in my head and it slipped up. But what would, would you like to talk about these these heifers tonight? The heifer hotline, hate hate the heifers hotline. <laughs> now, what, what, what kind of hate? What kind of heifer hating would you like to drop tonight? <laughs> no, I ain't no hate. It's just that I just I don't know. I just got my own opinion about things. Okay. And, and I asked the question in the chat. Like the strong black woman thing, I, I get, I get it. But what's the difference from being strong and just being responsible? Mm -hmm. And see, and, and that's why I placed the caveat <clears throat> in tonight's uh, thing, because like I said, I don't look at it, it just existing, you know, doing what you're supposed to do as necessarily being strong. In my opinion, strong is the woman that thrives in her situation, not just does what she's supposed to do. So it goes above and beyond that is uh, not the statistic. You know what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of women right. that are just the statistics and oh, I'm strong, I'm independent, I'm this, this. Eh, you just like every other chick in this neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? Y'all just had some bad circumstances, bad situations, et cetera, et cetera. Um, <clears throat> but I think that to me, strong is the ones that go uh, above and beyond and do something a little different. I, I would agree with that. I would agree with that. Not only did you make the best out of a bad situation, but you thrived in that situation. Yeah, I would agree with that. And if that's the case, ain't too many strong women out there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If that's the case. Now, ain't nothing wrong with a smart woman. Mm -hmm. Now, I know y'all understand I like to argue. I like to go back and forth. Because I like to challenge people's intelligence. I like to see where they go when they flustered in the argument, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. I, I like to understand the mental workings of a person. So a woman that can, quote, unquote, put me in my place, Oh, I would love to see that. Mm. I haven't met one yet. Hey, well, except my mama. She just got this <laughs> uncanny neck. So, boy, I just, I, man, I spar with this woman all the time, Huncho. And I swear she's the only woman that could just say, like, one little simple thing. And then I just can't. I have nothing. I run out. I don't have no comeback and be like, fuck. <laughs> she's like, I don't know how she do it. But at the same time, we think alike, so. She, she knows my little games and shit, so it don't work on her. But I've never met another woman that was like that. No. So if I did, I would be ultimately intrigued. Mm -hmm. And so, I, I, and I mean, shit, I argue all the time on here. And I welcome all challenges and nobody be wanting to go back and forth with me. So, I don't know. Some people willing to step up to the challenge and some people just faint. And that's cool. That's cool. It's gonna be like it's gonna be one. It's gonna be, it's just gonna take the right topic, and it's gonna it's gonna be a new denizen that that had <clears throat> the old Street Fighter, 
when like you be playing on one player, you playing the, the regular mode, your partner come over and they push that star button. <clears throat> or, yeah. You know, a challenger is entered the match, a new challenger, whatever. That's, that's what's gonna happen one day. Somebody gonna pull. Who is this nigga? What is he talking about? And they gonna call in. That's gonna be the. That's gonna be the match right there. Let me see. Let me, I got a couple more stats. Let me see who. Let me see who. Uh, who I'm missing out. But I feel you though. You know, and I think sometimes that's what it takes. You want to find somebody that's on that level that can reciprocate. You know, the energy that you're putting out, the mentality that you you have. And not to fold under it or react emotionally or, uh, you know, illogically, <clears throat> you know, in response I, to. I, I like I like to see what what people do when they flush. Mm -hmm. Shannon, you kill so me with that. I, I will come on strong just to see how you react. Mm -hmm. Look, Shannon always gets some pistachios. Didn't want to come back and ask where mine. Be one of the first people to get some pistachios. Got some pistachios. I think she asked for some from yesterday that she had already got. Just trying to double up on. Well, I tell you, you can't. Black folks can't give, can't give niggas nothing. Try to be slick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. But uh, yeah. But yeah. I mean, I, I, again, I guess. And so, how many women that you have you have you <clears throat> when you when you take that approach? Have you met many women that you know that attempt to challenge your stance? Yes. Okay. Yeah, and some of them have come pretty close, and some of them actually admire me mm -hmm. because of the way that I think, because I think differently than normal people. Mm -hmm. Some people find it refreshing. Like you just not, like you're a unique person, you know what I'm saying? You're not a follower, not by any means. You think your own way, all kind of shit. And some people appreciate that other people, not so much. Yeah. You know, they want somebody that is just going to pretty much go with the flow. And that's cool. You I mean, you like what you like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So I'm not buying that, but, some people they they don't mind a little spark, <laughs> and if I see you, you know, what I'm saying you got some something, something with you, you willing to fight back? Most more than likely, I probably won't fuck with you as much. Yeah. You know, what I'm saying I probably bounce ideas off of you, mm -hmm. and you know we could think about shit together. But you know, what I'm saying, but I just got to see where your level is. Yeah. That's just it. That's mm -hmm. pretty much it. Okay. Okay. I'm I'm all about the intellect. That's what I find sexy. Yeah. Body, all that shit, that's cool. Yeah. That's cool, but the mind is where it's at. I agree. Cause let's, let's be and honest. I don't want nobody that think like me. I want you to think differently than I do. I appreciate a different thought, but you're willing to have facts and logic behind your reasoning. There it is. That, that's everything right there to me. You, let me see. Hold on. Let me. Let me. Let me. Let me. Let me check your pistachio account, Miss Me. That's why I was, double, I was trying to double check. Make sure. Let me see if you got yours or not. Make sure I don't. Look, I ain't tripping because if I get y'all too many, I just go back and y'all account take it when y'all ain't looking. Uh, <clears throat> I like to touch on one, one other subject. Right, one other subject. And we get this a lot, especially from the ladies in the den. Mm -hmm. It's not that we telling y'all what to do. That's not it. What we telling y'all is what men want out of women. That's what it is. It's not about we condemning you for what you did or what decisions you make or your choices, et cetera, et cetera. No, nah, it's just telling you what niggas look for. Yeah. Some niggas just look for a, a, a chick with a pulse. Mm -hmm. Okay? <laughs> I'm not, not going to even lie about that. I can't even front about that. But some niggas, we want more than that. We look for something deeper, more meaningful than just some pussy. You know what I'm saying? That's cool. That's great. That's fine. We want that too, but some of us need more than that. So if you got this idea in your head that you're just going to be able to fuck about a thousand niggas and then come over here with me and what I'm doing and that's going to be okay with me, no. Because I don't really like somebody whose decision making revolves around that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Look, you do what you want to do. I'm not saying what you did was wrong. I'm just saying that's not what I'm looking for. Okay. I agree. So just to clarify that, we're not telling y'all what to do. We're just telling you what we're looking for. That's yeah. it. That's true. And, you know, and the thing is, just like <clears throat> the man can't get mad at anything that the women say that they have a personal preference, just like, just like you, you have you seen the bagel boss? Yeah, you said you said you sent me the thing. As a matter of fact, a bagel boss. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, the little nigga in the bagel shop. 
Oh man, I, I kind of feel for that dude. Yeah, and, and that's the that's the, that's that's fucked up because he um, he yeah, there's nothing that he can do to fix his situation. No. But you can tell he's been through it. But on the cool though, that little nigga's a hoe because uh, they found like he got a YouTube channel and they found that's like all he does is yell at people. And, and get mad, but I understand why he's that way because life has beat him down, beat him down, and so maybe that's just his way of, of um, responding back. You know, that ain't the best manner, but you can tell that he's just been through a lot. That he, he, in reality, he wants to be appreciated in, in a certain way, but he's just never got to. Well, I mean, at the same time, they did make fun of his height, though. That, yeah. That's what started it all off. Yeah. Oh, so obviously, because from what I understand, the people that work at the donut shop or whatever, they was short him or something, a bagel or something. <laughs> like it, was, it, was, it, was, it, was it was something along those lines. So it, when they said that, then the people in the line, because he got a temper with the person, yes. then the people in the line say, you just go on somewhere, man. You just short one bagel, whatever. Like nobody yeah. had his back, Bro. even though that the people that worked there were wrong. They, they fucked him over. Mm -hmm. So that's what really just set him off. Like not only did they fuck me over, now y'all is with them against me mm -hmm. when I'm the fucking customer. All I want is what I paid for. Yeah. So I feel for the dude. You know what I'm saying? It's like that's, that's some whole ass shit. But at the same time, I would have just said, look, give me my money back, I'm out of here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just been that fucking simple. I ain't finna go through this shit with everybody. Yeah. And I would have made sure that they took extra long giving me my money back. Just so the people in line who didn't have my back would have waited that much long. <laughs> That's how you get people back. Yeah. Is a day in a hurry, you make them wait. Like, yeah. But it was fucked up because of it. But I ain't gonna lie, because this nigga, he, they showed some of his little videos or whatever. He on there, he talked to a black chick. I think she was going to the restaurant. You're nothing but a, a ghetto something. He was calling off, get her out of here. You got a bad attitude. He just, he, just, he, he, he kind of go around picking little fights and shit. But like I say, it, it's, it's life fucked him over. And that's just his way. Because, you know, him being a little yeah. dude, you know, he, he probably been picked on his whole life. And so he had to start getting kind of hostile so people didn't take him as a pushover. And that's just become his natural response to things now. You know what I mean? And so... And then the and then the way old buddy handled him, he was no. like, damn. Man, it didn't try to wasn't nothing he could do. <laughs> it, was, that was a, it was like a form tackle, but, you know, you got to get real low. That's like yeah. when, that, when, that, when that running back get low on you and you got to try to get low. You don't want to get that helmet to helmet, you know, hey. <laughs> this shit was funny yeah, as shit. Yeah, it was Yeah, that, that shit there was. So not only did he get fucked over, he got joked on, he mm. got laughed at, he mm. got yelled at. He yeah. got tackled, and then he got escorted out the building. Man, just a yeah. He, he took yeah, that was that was the L of a lifetime right there, all wrapped up in one, and everybody got to watch it. <laughs> That's tough, man. That's tough. And, but like I say, but you know, but for for women to say like in his situation, well, you got to be so and so tall, and can't nobody dispute that. If you like tall men, and there's nothing that you can do with height. You there is no. There is no uh, height watchers. You know what I'm saying? There ain't no right. nothing, no pill that's going to do it. You might can do a little yoga, do a little stretch. You might get a, a quarter of an inch, you know, half an inch if you're lucky. But, you know, there, there's really nothing that can do it. And that's only if you're still relatively young, you know. And, um, but, the, you know, we can't dispute that. But it's a lot of people get mad when, you know, men just say, these are my personal preferences. I don't, I don't like, you know, this, that, or the third. And people get offended. But the thing is, everything is not for everybody. I go back to that all the time. Like, my mentality is, hey, uh, I, some of you know, we might say, ah, oh, niggas with long hair. Now, that's 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 feminine to me. Okay. Well, I'll bust your back in, but obviously you'll never get that opportunity because uh, you don't like niggas like me. But I don't give a fuck. I don't. Well, that's so well. Like, that's what you choose. Like, I'm not finna... I'm not going to get upset about none of that shit. Like, you know, I ain't for everybody. I ain't trying to be for everybody. And if I was, I'd have to question myself. Like, if I'm... Because I think I post something earlier. Like, if I'm agreeing with everybody all the time, something's wrong with me. Then I'm obviously I'm being fraudulent in some type of manner. Or something is, is, is being fictitious about me. So, uh, <clears throat> and that's just the thing. So, yeah, well, like, like Jay just said, we're not telling y'all what you have to be. We're not trying to correct y'all. We're just telling you, or I think each individual guy that calls in when he does call in, he's just speaking his piece or speaking his personal preference. Like, we all like different things. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, and I find it real fucked up that the ladies can have personal preference, and that's all right. But when we do, it's like we condemning them for some reason. And mm -hmm. even if they don't fit 
But even if they do, uh, if they don't fit the parameters that we set, they still get mad. Like, I like a chick with big titties, just an example. And you got big titties, so why is you mad? Like, you don't have big titties. Like, I don't I don't understand. I, I'll just be at a loss. I'll be really confused. Like, I don't know what y'all mad at. Yeah. Everybody has preferences. So why can't you just be like, well, that's just what he likes. It is what it is. I don't know. Guys, we don't like it either, but we just have to deal with it. Okay. Uh, damn, I just what is what I'm saying. Oh, hold on, that's that's terrible. That's not what I'm looking for. Um, okay. Um, yeah, and that's it, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, y'all, y'all still trying to get this shirt off, huh? Look, look, I'm telling you, the last two weeks I've, I've eaten poorly. Y'all give me, uh, let me see, let me, uh, y'all give me the end of the month, then maybe we can talk about something. Let me get some of this, let me get some of this BS up off me. Let me see, hold on, when is the, when is the first NFL game? When is the game? When the season starts? September 5th? Okay. We'll see. We'll, 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 we'll see what's happening. I have, I, I'll have to do a special stream, but I ain't going to do the fellas like that. That's that's a little weird. So I'll have to do a special ladies only stream. I'll give y'all a heads up when that's gonna be. And then we'll uh Yeah, sure. I appreciate it. We'll, we'll we'll set it off. That would that would be unfair to the fellas. That would be a very odd, awkward thing to uh yeah, to engage. I, I'll in. just conveniently miss that. <laughs> yeah, we'll 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 figure out how to how to handle that, you know, because look I can't I can't I can't do the the, the men folk. The men folk or the damn folk, I can't do them like that. Um so wow. Okay, okay. Um, uh, no, hell no, ain't no guys. <laughs> Any nigga that look, and here's here's the, here's that to go with that. When uh, if I do do a special ladies only den, and a nigga show up in that hoe, consider that the last den you ever yeah. attend. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care if you call you, I'm just gonna peek in here to be from you. Feel that's gonna be your last whatever nigga. So if that's what you hey, nah, pick your own poison. You're gonna be blocked. Uh, band and uh, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I mean, it ain't that type of party, you know what I'm saying. Be I, saying I don't know, Hancho. You you kind of sound anti-alphabet community right now. What? Like, I'm just saying. Look, <clears throat> for my level yeah, of comfort, I'm just saying for, it, it might be a few lurkers. You know what I'm saying down there in the chat. That don't never say nothing. Hey, you know man. what I'm mean? saying? Hey, shit, you never know, man. Yeah, that's 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 an issue for them and whatever they got going on. They can feel free to deal with it. I, I'm just not a part of that deal. So what I have to do is have a private link <laughs> and, and send it to individual emails and uh, DMs. I can't can't gonna be posting it. Shit, it'll be a uh, it'll be a very questionable situation now because uh, I'm gonna talk bad about you and I'll block your ass. That's how it's gonna be. <laughs> hey, I don't even blame you. No. So that's a beast. Well, I, I, I know. I know somebody ain't just charged me up talking about these pistachios. I gave you them pistachios. Look at you. Look at you. Oh, see how niggas act over pistachios? I can't believe. I thought we were better than that. Everybody should have gotten their pistachios. You know, I, I, I believe that I this checked out. This is a little off subject, but did you, did you read that story about the, uh, the black dude that was in the hospital? And uh, the doctor told him that he needed to walk around or something. Cause he was sick, so he was walking outside the hospital with the IV machine and the and the fucking hospital guy on. The yeah. cops roll up and accused him of stealing that shit. Yeah, like that was I just couldn't believe that shit. That shit, that was. was I big. couldn't believe it. Wow, like it? it started so with the little ass security nigga, guard, and then the, the security yeah. guard called the cops. I'm like, yeah, that shit, right? There. I hope he sued them motherfuckers. And the thing is, he ain't, you know, he wasn't even really trying to trip on him because he went through all the problems. He's gay. And he went through all the uh, proper procedures. The dude he was walking out there with was his was his Jesse Smullett associate, and, uh, and I think he said his brother. So they was all you know walking or whatever and whatnot. And uh, he said he was actually on his way back into the um, the hospital. And then um, hell no, nah, saying I block you, you bring him in anyway. Um, and so he was on his way back in the hospital. The security guard pulled up on him, talking about he's stealing the shit. And I think they, I want to say they had it on video or whatever. And, uh. Yeah, and yeah. they pulled his IV out and took the nigga to jail. Yeah, said he said he passed out in the back seat because he had, like, asthma or whatever. The cop took his, 
his uh his breathing his inhaler or whatever. He damn near in the back seat, fucking fucking off. And then a lady cop came and asked him where his shit was. And then she's like, "Oh, buddy, got it. He took it from me." And then um, you know, and then so she uh, I guess she said something. He gave it to him, but. Then I forgot, I forgot what they tried to, to hit him because they really had no charge on him. But he said, you know, he went to the city. He said he went and talked to the hospital. And he said he felt insulted because that's what they tried to make it seem like, you know, what, what, what kind of money it's going to take to make it go away or whatever. He was just saying that he really just wanted to alleviate the situation from happening again. It really wasn't about no money. But, you know, people have been dismissive of him. They've been ignoring him, you know. Um, and so he said he's going he gonna to kind of escalate the situation. He said he gave him seven days to get with him, to talk to him about it, to, to try to fix the situation. So he's supposed to be escalating. So it's going to be real interesting to see what's happening. And, and of course, you know, people first, when they went, well, they did their shit because he was black. I just, look, I, I don't think it's a case of racism. I think it's just a serious case of stupid. Yeah. Like the simplest thing would have been to ask the man his name. You can walk back to the hospital or call the hospital, ask them if they have a patient under this name. Yeah. If they say yes, and you say, well, is he supposed to be out here with an IV hooked up to him walking the hospital grounds? If they say yes, you have a nice day, sir. Get in your squad car and go fight some crime. Yeah. It could have just been that simple. All you got to do is talk to people. And this is why I think cops be fucking up because they don't listen. As soon as they get the first idea in their head, they don't listen to nothing different. And it just be like I don't I don't see how you function like this. Ooh. I don't understand. Well, that's that's what I'm saying. They that's... don't want to talk until they get you to the station. Yeah. Well, if you could have talked to me while I was there, this could have been alleviated and a lot of time wasted. Wouldn't have been wasted. It just I don't understand crazy shit like that. That's crazy to me. Yeah, and but you know that's what happens when you when you think one way. You know what I'm saying, and you don't apply logic to the situation, and. And sometimes it's like in, in certain situations where it's like I can understand why they do it because you got a lot. If you see some of these, like, it'd be motherfuckers. They'll be looking like that. You're like, oh, why they fucking with this motherfucker? And that motherfucker flip the script on their ass quick and then catch out on them or do some old whole ass shit. You're like, oh, that nigga was dirty. And so I understand them trying to to determine who is legit and who's not. But like you said, in that situation, you're right by the fucking hospital. You know what I'm saying? It, it wouldn't have been that hard to say, okay. Well, let's go slide in here and see what's going on. It would have been closer to do that than it would have been to go to the fucking station. I guarantee you, you're in the fucking parking lot. But that's kind of like the one with the chick, um, it was a few years back, where the cop, he like beat that nurse up because she didn't want to take like the, the blood or something or, or do the do like a blood alcohol test on a, on a guy he had brought in there. That was crazy. He yeah. locked that ass up. That yeah. was so stupid. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. It's just and like, she told him, look, I can't do that. That's against hospital policy. I yeah. cannot do that. That'd be breaking the law. Yeah. You arrested me for not breaking it. That, I was just like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. Look, he, and he said that she was what, impeding an investigation. That's why yeah. he arrested her. Yeah. That was fucking insane. Yeah, I mean, the thing about you, she could lose her license for that. And she, she didn't went to school and put in all that work, and she looked like she was a little bit older, so she'd probably been, you know, in that, that career field for some time. Them nurses, they have, like, a, a strict protocol that they got to follow, too. They can go to jail for a lot of that shit. A lot of shit, if they don't follow certain uh, ethical procedures and shit like that, you know, they will go to jail. Like, it, it, it's a lot of little shit that them motherfuckers got to do. So, it's, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. I, got, I just don't understand. She like, got paid from this. She was an IV machine. Yeah, so that's that's what I'm saying though. Baby. I don't even know what kind of street value that shit got. Like, yeah, really? Man. I mean, I guess you know. Oh, hey, man, if you if you if you didn't hit up a hit a lick for some dope, you like fuck it, fuck this needle. Let me just put the, let me just get the bag. Let me just fill this bag. I ain't gotta do shit. I'm gonna just sit here and let it run. <laughs> and he had the gown on. Like, yeah. really? Where was he gonna go? Like, yeah. I don't get that. I really don't like who who does all that. Well, that's crazy. Well, <laughs> to draw all the way down Dan Street, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's 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 a it's a whole lot of craziness. And that's why I say sometimes in just society. Like, but again, like I said, I don't know. And again, I'm not justifying that situation because again, a common sense should prevail. But I mean, we're just dealing with some of this shit. You just can't tell some of the shit that that some of these motherfuckers have seen that. You you could only imagine that they made it to cops and live PD, so you know. But I just think in a situation like that, how hard would it have been? Like it, it's just 
to me, it seemed like it would have been more convenient either way. Hey, let's go slide right here. Hey, can we have a doctor? What's your doctor's name? And this man got the band and all the stuff on the arm. Hey, call down such and such. Call down, you know, so and so. Call down right. this the third and, and, and make it happen. Um, so it's 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 wild. I remember seeing one too. It was a dude. He had like uh, I can't remember where he was. He was in the hospital. He had like stage four cancer, and somebody said they smelled dope or something. He ain't had no. He ain't had no. He had like some type of marijuana pills or something like that, THC pills or something like that. And Laws came up and they're going through all this shit, going through his hotel, I mean, not his hotel, going through his whole room, going through his bags and all that kind of stuff. Like, And it's just like, man, I said, you just got to be kind of a different breed. You know, it's, it's again, I'm sure you see a lot of shit that makes you have to react a certain way if you just don't ever know what you're coming across. But um, it's just certain stuff. I just be like, damn, how can you... You can't just be like, man, you know, hey, fuck this one call, man, I ain't, I ain't dealing with it. And I ain't saying it don't happen because I, I've seen them do it, you know, and again, it's just certain situations get caught, and you don't know what's happening before, you don't know what's happening after, but you just catch what you see on video, so it can be, and so I ain't saying all of them are like that, because I, like I said, I know for a fact from personal experience, you just got some of them that, they all the way in, you got some of them that's, they, they understand when it's some stupid shit, you know, and they're not going to. They're not going to, you know, hit you with so the wait nozzle. a minute. If somebody called on the stage for a cancer patient about having some uh, weed pills? Yeah, so it was it was somebody from the hospital. And that's the fucked up part about it because... Oh, man, I wouldn't have bought... Look, that man about to go. Let that shit. Yeah. I go like the weed for him. I roll yeah. him up a joint, yeah. goddamn shit. Come on, man. He ain't got much longer to go. Let him enjoy his little life he got left. That yeah. shit. That's what I'm saying. That's crazy. Because he, he basically said he had like a, a to-go package, basically, of uh, medications and stuff just to, you know, ease him on the way out. And uh, my thing is just like, I, you know, the laws, they doing whatever they're doing because, you know, the way they probably made it seem like, oh, he got a bunch of weed in here and this, this, and this. So they going through the shit. They ain't arrested with nothing. But it's like, who is the whole-ass yeah. hospital worker, be it nurse, doctor, whomever, Question. that fucking made that call? Like... Why? Now, if he was trying to distribute this shit, that's different. Mm, I nah. get it. Yeah, nah, but I mean, was. come on, man. You know why he had that. I mean, at least I would feel safe to assume that <laughs> he had it for his own personal use. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Fuck it. This will, this will probably ease my pain more than the shit that y'all willing to give me. You know mm. what I'm saying? So I ain't even mad at it. I'm <laughs> really not. <laughs> look, look, I'm going I'm to I'm send, uh, just here, I'm going to send you my personal, my personal Dropbox link. That's that's the new hustle. I've seen the, the premium Snapchats and the drop boxes, so I'm, I'm gonna hit you with the personal drop oh, box link. <laughs> premium Snapchat. <laughs> that shit is hilarious to me. Oh <clears throat> and and ladies, one one other thing that I, I'd like to bring up. <laughs> and we talked about this briefly the other day about the stereotype shit. <laughs> I watched another YouTuber, he kinda broke it down into further detail today and I just felt like you know what I'm saying, sharing a little bit with y'all. Mm -hmm. It's like, from the men's point of view, we know it's some no good ass niggas out here. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And and the myth about the black man, you know what I'm saying? Number one, we, you know what I'm saying? We always committing crimes, killing each other, robbing each other, hurting each other, beating up on our women, having all these kids everywhere, not taking care of them, abusing our black women, all this shit, et cetera, et cetera. That's the stereotype of black men, you know what I'm saying? And we blessed in the genital department. Yeah. So when we get lumped up in that shit, we just have to accept it. Because on the daily, and I do mean on the daily, we got niggas out here exemplifying that stereotype. I fit probably about five or six of them motherfuckers. So, I'm I'm part of it too, you know. Not the real egregious ones. Hell no. I fit some of those stereotypes myself. So, when they have the black women stereotype, it's the same deal. Y'all, you, you may not fit those parameters, but a lot of the stereotypical part of black women, y'all do fit. Well, that they not all of them. So when you got these chicks. Ratchet ass chicks on TV fighting and scratching and clawing and spitting on each other and shitting mm. at Flavor Flav's house. Mm. Y'all get lumped up. Y'all get lumped up in all that shit, man. And I, I know. Look, I understand it's not fair, but those stereotypes exist for a reason because it's actually out there. 
people ain't just making this shit up about some of you women. Mm-hmm. It's not made up. It actually exists. So you have to take the L the same way we have to take the L. And a lot of y'all not willing to take that L. But you just kind of have to. But you just have to prove yourself not to be a bad example of a black woman. You don't want to fit that stereotype. Do everything you can to not be like that. Yeah. Don't be showing out in public all, you know, saying, hollering and screaming, acting ratchet, trying to fight the dude behind the McDonald's counters and mm. having fights with Popeye's chicken. Like, come on, man, we can't be doing that shit. Mm. And it just be the same with the niggas, like doing this whole ho ass shit, going out there killing each other, folk want to fight another nigga over some bullshit. Like, you be trying to talk to the niggas. Like, man, chill out, bro. You making us look bad. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that phrase, and we say it a lot. For somebody to do something egregiously stupid and make headline news, when they say you set black people back, that <laughs> shit is real. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's a reason why that phrase exists. It'd be like, niggas, you can't be out there doing shit like this because the people that we trying to get along with and co-mingle with, this is what they got to see. So they're going to assume that all of us is like this. If that shit ain't that shit every day in the news, sooner or later you're going to start to believe it. It ain't just a coincidence that the motherfuckers just keep doing this same shit or perpetrating the same shit. Yeah. It's not a coincidence. So, yeah, I, agree. I know I, it ain't fair. And you got to take the good with the bad, and that's the thing. And, I, and that's what I say, you know, when we speak on that, don't take it personal. Because what, what's the thing I say? Yeah. If, if it don't apply, let it fly. If you let know that's not you, why even get mad over it? I'm not trying to say nobody. If I got certain habits that... Uh, Professor Trill don't got. He's not gonna be mad if you talk about me about it. Cause I don't do that shit. Oh, that ain't me, nigga. You know that's that's on you. You gotta figure that one out or whomever, whatever. Don't take it as a personal attack. Just trust me, especially with the the dreads and everything else. That, psh, come on, nigga. I'm automatically. Yeah. I'm, I'm automatically from every island. I got all the weed. Um, you know this, that, and the third. Like it's just it's craziness. Cause I be seeing folks. Like I say, I ain't never had no issue, no problem. They be just kind of looking. What's going on with this guy over here? I, <laughs> I think I think that's a long hair thing, Hacho. Because when I had long hair, niggas used to always ask me where the weed at. No, yeah. it might be. I, I don't know why. You know, when I had my braids and shit, niggas used to ask me that shit all the time. Just walk up on me straight away at the gas station. I'm pumping gas, hey, bro. You know where the weed at? Like, nigga, I could be the laws. Why would you do that? Straight up, hey, bro. You don't know me, bro. What you tripping? Man, that shit there is like, look, you get mad comfortable. Man, yeah. you ain't the law, too. Well, nah, I'm not, but still. Until I put these cuffs on you. <laughs> yeah, I ain't, I ain't the law, so I put these cuffs <laughs> on your motherfucker there. Um, CIA ain't, you better recognize. You, you, you small time, you know, CIA ain't fucking with that little bullshit. <laughs> nah. But yeah, man, that's, that should be crazy. That's wild, though. <clears throat> I guess uh, I guess the, the long hair is, is, a, is a symbol of black so. black hippiness or something. I don't know. You know, but... It's uh, it's it's craziness. If I asked the message would be that y'all the ones growing the shit, goddamn. I'm trying to figure y'all. I want it straight from the source. Y'all, y'all know y'all got an uncle who bringing it in tomorrow across the board. I want this shit fresh out the pack. So shit, you know, where, where it's at. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what it is. Uh, <clears throat> okay, okay, but yeah, that's, that's the stereotype thing, and that's why I say, man, I find the shit. Mainly funny. As long as I'm not participating in the shit, it is what it is. And it's certain things that I've accepted that I look like the stereotype. I used to call myself the uh, the a typical stereotypical nigga because I look like the stereotypical nigga. It just it is what it is. But I don't do shit. I, I do certain shit that niggas do, but I don't do everything that niggas do. And so certain elements, you're like, nigga, what's what's wrong with you? Niggas are gonna look at it like that. But it just is what it is, man. Like you can't you cannot take any of that shit personally. It originated from somewhere. It is what it is. You just don't don't get mad, don't get upset, but don't let that shit destroy your life or control your life in, in any kind of manner. I do get mad when niggas make us look bad though. Oh, yeah. I hate that shit. Yeah, oh yeah, that, that's good. I shit. fucking <clears throat> hate that shit. Yeah. Uh, especially when they be the fucking bystanders and they get on the Oh wow, well, I'm, I'm thinking man, I'm thinking the oh, exact same nigga, shit. I hate you that said. shit. <laughs> That pizza burger, motherfucker. Oh, man. man. That's so fucking embarrassing. I've been hanging around Trill too long, man. I've been talking to Trill too. Cause when he said, when niggas make us look bad, I swear to God, 
that's the first thing that came into my mind was news and yeah. piece of a burger. The, the cats and dogs. That, and that, there ain't nobody got time for that chick. <clears throat> that chick like, <clears throat> oh, man, come on, man. And I'm the a, dudes that was talking about, what, they pizza rolls? I'm like, what? what? <clears throat> you niggas is trip. Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> my people, my people. Yeah, that shit tough, man, but... I, I, I don't even know. That shit is wild. That shit, the whole... Uh, it's too much shit going on. But like I said, I, I mean, shit, I used to, I knew niggas who, that I knew personally. Once they had, they had a little situation that took place and these motherfuckers on news. I don't know if it's cameras that do something to niggas. I don't know if it's the attention. I don't know what it is that does stuff to certain people. Like, I think that it, it, uh, maybe the, 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 it must be some type of wave or something that comes from the, the electricity and the camera or whatever that's around it. It's just shorting something out in their brain. I don't fucking know what it is. But it's like people lose their shit and they say the dumbest shit uh, when the cameras come on. So, you know, I, I don't know. I, hope, I, don't, I don't know, know if that ever changed. I don't know either. <laughs> I just, I just know, man. If if you ever involved in the situation, to where somebody tell you that you personally set black people back, mm. I think you really need to sit and reflect on yourself. Because <laughs> Jesse Smollett, he set niggas back. Yeah. He literally did. Yeah. And I think somebody should have sat him down and told him that, like, bro, the shit that you pulled, mm -hmm. you set all niggas back, all mm. of us. I don't care what you say. Some people don't believe in that, but I do, man, because yeah. perception is is everything these days. It's every fucking thing. <laughs> so you can't just have us out here looking bad like that, bro. Man, we already doing, we already got a lot of shit. And the fucked up part about it is when I did them couple little videos on that, if somebody white got in the comments, he's like, man, that Jesse Smiller, he said you blacks back uh, two or three hundred years. I forgot what he said. And I wanted to get mad at the comment, but I'm like, this Motherfucker yeah, ain't lying. <laughs> it's like he not yeah, lying. Some, some pills are tough to swallow, man. Yeah, but it's it was like fuck. <clears throat> yeah, it was like I can't even get mad because it's the truth. It's like everything motherfuckers been fighting for or, or against, and even if you in that camp or not, that he basically he undermined everything that he was allegedly standing for, and then you still had motherfuckers caping for his ass. That's the crazy shit, man. That's the crazy shit. So. I don't get it. It's gonna be funny to see what happens because they got that special prosecutor on his ass, and they said they may they deal with the way everything went. They still may be able to because uh, usually you can't, you know, double jeopardy is a thing. But because of how it all went down, they still may be able to charge charge with some shit. So it's gonna be interesting to see what happens. I think the only reason he he you know what I'm saying he got away with what he got away with because it was a victimless crime. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it was still some whole shit like mm -hmm. that. That needs to be some kind of penalty for that. Yeah. It just did for just wasting police time. Like when yeah. certain groups of people call the police on certain groups of people for doing regular people <laughs> shit, like barbecuing and selling water and having a lemonade stand. Walking that needs dogs. to be some kind of penalty for wasting the police time, man. It's got to be. Yeah, I agree. Because that's just ridiculous. It's just I, ridiculous. Come I, on. I, I agree. And the thing is, especially with him being a celebrity, because you know that. The, the national attention is going to be so much bigger. Now you're putting this spotlight on this particular police department. And so, you know, it's going to be pressure on them to come up with, with something. And it's you know, like, if it's a regular person, you know, sometimes they can kind of be swept under the rug. But with you being a celebrity on whatever show, I don't know how often they come on or whatever, and then you pushing a hate crime and the activists and all this other shit, yeah. like, it, it just blew it up into something bigger that you allegedly got beat. I mean, you just blew it up into this whole thing. And then... You know, then to be so smug about it after it was all done, like, oh, like, I ain't do nothing, you know, I got away with it, or, you know, that's that's the part that Kimmy's like, no, nigga, you forfeited bond money and did some fake-ass community service. You didn't, you're not innocent. If you were innocent, it wouldn't have been nothing to shit. But you just walk and say, I didn't do anything. Yeah, I was yeah. proven right. And, and then, uh, now, 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 but see, I love how petty that Chicago police being because they releasing everything pertaining to them motherfuckers had a mountain of evidence against his ass. The fucking drug shit that he was uh, texting the, the little Nigerian dudes. He was texting a whole bunch of shit about doing, buying them molly, buying weed, getting powder, getting gay massages and shit, trying to invite him over with some old suspect ass shit. Then, um, they just got, they had so much shit on him. Like I said, they would have they been able to, uh, they would have been able to, 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 to charge him with something, but it was like I say, old gal, she works some of that behind the scenes magic because that's his home girl. And then, uh, you know, it wasn't no big deal. They, they, 
they let him go. So that's the whole ass shit about it. Yep, and I think the motherfuckers who was holding them, them R. Kelly tapes, they need to be locked up right with that nigga. Same cell and everything. Mm. <laughs> R. Kelly done. I hate to say it. I hate to say it, but I'm, I'm, I'm still... Whoever sat on them fucking tapes for 20 years needs to be in jail, too. Because y'all telling me that they just sat on these tapes for 20 years and never watched them hoes, never did anything And else. wouldn't that be considered child pornography, though? They are. Exactly. They're in possession of child pornography. So even when you got them in the first place and you did not and immediately... And they admit to holding on to the shit. Yeah, and you didn't immediately take it to the cops when you got them in the first place, you are in possession of child pornography. You know what I'm saying? So you in the possession of child pornography. Oh, Man, that's the crazy shit, man. The, the only thing that makes sense is when they turned them over, they made a deal to where they get immunity, to where yeah. nothing, they couldn't be prosecuted for having the shit, mm -hmm. just so that police department or whoever could get R. Kelly and make an example out of them. That's the mm -hmm. only thing that makes sense to me. I mean, that, that could not be right, but that sounds about right for this situation because if they ain't locked up, I don't, I don't know how you skate by and not get charged for that. I really okay. don't. Well, Miss Me said they came out today and said there were no tapes. And then somebody else, look, I saw an article, they was talking about that the FBI, uh, the who was in charge of the case, they went after Arkansas because they watched that documentary. And that's why I say that's some whole ass shit. They let that, excuse me, they let that fucking documentary sway their fucking opinions on shit. And that's, that's a bunch of Tom Fuller. That's that dumb shit. <laughs> Actually, yeah. that's, that's kind of embarrassing. How, how, how bad? of a fucking law enforcement do you have to be when you get your information from television. So these motherfuckers had enough time to gather the information, put some actors in the shit, make a shoot a whole fucking film, and then put it out before you knew anything about it. Yeah. What does that say about your investiga <laughs> investigation? Uh, come on, bro. That <laughs> that sounds bad. Man, they say no tape he's about to get. If he get out, look, next time R. Kelly do a concert in Houston, I'm going to go to that. But I'm going to be live on the scene uh, <clears throat> with the den. I'm going to be a man on the street doing interviews for people outside. I'm going to see what's going on. Let's see, let's, let's, uh, let's see what's shaking. <laughs> and at the same time, what happened to the parents of those girls who were participating in it knowingly? Like, oh, yeah. What happens to them? The, the ones that was bringing their child to this man. Oh, they get to play like they what didn't know what was this? going on. They get to play like they don't know nothing. When they not when you drop him off at well, not when you drop your girl off at his house. Oh, all, all they gonna do is say, oh, oh, he was he was teaching her uh, singing lessons. Or he told us that they all they gotta do is man, lie, and that's what they gonna get do. Get off the game. Because the crazy <laughs> shit about it is, is old buddy. You seen the daddy, the one who's been acting like he cares so much. Right, we just want to see our daughter. No, you doing all this shit so you and your family can get they. Get in the line because I think they're trying to get their little youngest daughter to try to sing too. Uh, you just want your fucking kids to be famous. Your kids ain't all that. It is what it is. You thought you was going to finesse R. Kelly. He ended up putting the woo woo on her and now she happy with him. You talking about, oh, I ain't. Uh, uh, she over there in Trump Tower. We heard that he was over there. And I went, oh, but that publisher, so he finessed him on the cool because they were trying to interrupt the publisher. Well, well, what do you know? He's like, man, I don't work for R. Kelly. I work for somebody else. I'm just here to, to speak on behalf of the case. Well, well, such and such. A, well, you know that they were somewhere. He's like, I, didn't, I wasn't here. I was in New York. I just got here to do this. He's like, well, well they was in there yesterday because we was outside over there. He's like, hey, well, if it was me, I'd have drove a truck through that building and got my daughters. And so then after that, he's like, y'all yeah, yeah, be, right. be quiet. Y'all be quiet and let him speak. Y'all just, just let him speak. Y'all let, let him say what he got to say. Yeah, because you, you made you look like a fucking fool. Because you know that you ain't doing all you're trying to do to get to that girl. You just you just trying to pop up wherever you know there's some attention at to try to make something shake. The publisher ain't got the fucking kids. Like, what the fuck you, what the fuck you think? He, he, you know, he got him hidden in the corner. He's like, I, I met your daughter a couple of times. And everything was on the up and up. But I ain't never even really talked to her like that. So I don't know what you, you know what I'm saying? Like... It's like they just doing too much. They doing too much with this R. Kelly shit. Like again, they trying to get the like this fame is a is a sick, sick drug. You know, people will do anything for that shit, and and I don't understand it. Like I can't do it. I'm not. And I mean, this. at the same time, even if you say you're dropping your daughter off so she can record, you're not gonna stay there with her. Exactly. You you don't know this man like that. I mean, it's a studio. I'm sure there's some chairs in there somewhere, but you can sit and make sure everything is on the up and up. Until you develop some kind of relationship with the dude. Mm -hmm. Like, if you know the dude personally, y'all kick it, you understand, and you come to some kind of understanding. I mean, even just as a parent, Damn, that should be the minimum that you do. 
It wouldn't be no if understanding. Not more than that. <laughs> it would have been, I'm sitting here the whole time. I know what you did historically. Hey, I ain't mad at you, player. You beat the case. It is what it is. But uh, not with my daughter. It is not going to happen like that. So I'm going to sit here. Know. I'm going to get some. I'm going to hear some of these exclusives. I'm going to hear some of these new drops y'all got. Uh, okay. You know, hey, let me. Matter of fact, our kids, let me, let me get on this track. Let me let me tell you what y'all fucking up right here. You need to put a little <laughs> bit more bass. I'm going to be all in that shit, man. I'm going to be all over this shit. They're they going to hate me. You know what I'm talking about? Like it's just, it's it's just like, come on, ain't no way. Them parents knew exactly what the fuck. Them, them kids wasn't even functional when this shit was going on, so they don't know about it. These motherfuckers don't even know about 9/11. So how the fuck are they supposed to know what happened to R. Kelly? You know what I'm saying? And they acting like these parents are just despicable. But nobody wants to say that. Nobody, nobody wants to hold the real people responsible for that shit. They fuck them parents. <laughs> And, and and this this might not be a popular opinion, but you gotta hold some of them kids responsible too. Because mm. if they didn't want to do it, they could have said or done something. Even if their parents were part of it, if they didn't want to do that shit, they could have told somebody. Yeah. Did something because yeah. I mean, if you try to force, <laughs> come on, let's just take it all the way down to the nitty gritty, to the basics. You got a baby, an infant. If you try to make an infant do something they don't want to do, what's the first thing that they do? They cry. cry. Yeah. <laughs> so if you a teenager, you mean to tell me something that you knew as an infant when you couldn't speak, walk, talk, none of that. Your response as an infant is not the same response as a teenager? I don't know. Yeah, that's, that's tough. I just, I just don't know about that. That's tough. That's, that's real tough. Uh, <clears throat> and, um, oh, yeah, just Sarah. <laughs> Shout out to just Sarah. I appreciate your love dropping the Benjamins. But she, uh, she Flip threw, a lady. Yeah, yeah, she threw a chocolate at you early in the call. <laughs> you know, so I Ain't nobody scared of no damn slip. <laughs> got it. Yeah, but that's what it is. Yeah, them kids, you know, they parents. But you got to think about how much of it is these, these parents telling these kids, trying to come, hey, you know, this your opportunity. You know, you don't get many opportunities like this. This is a, a star and a celebrity. And they probably putting all this shit in these kids' heads and tell them, oh, you know, this will be your chance to, to do something big for the family or, or whatever else it may be. And, you know, man, you just don't know. And I really feel like the parents are the most fucked up. But like you said, the kids have a role in it too. But again, who knows what kind of pressure, what kind of mentality <clears throat> excuse me, was pushed on these kids to, to, to get them to do some of this stuff. And what happened is, or Kelly... R. Kelly might have put the, like I say, put the the, the, the kales on them and now they in love with R. Kelly and they ain't trying to hear that bullshit that their parents did because they realized their parents put them in a whole ass situation. And so they just like, you know what? I'm going to fuck them. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to kick it with R. Kelly. He take good care of me. I enjoy whatever the situation is. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. And plus, if, if the kid is willing to sell their body just to try to be famous, so that means they lack integrity. So their parents ain't got no integrity either because they knowing what's going on and dropping their kids over there anyway. Yeah. So it's just a lack of integrity all the way around. No, Nobody got any decency or morals. Yeah. And that's the saddest part out of everything. Yeah. Not the fact that he did it, is that people knowingly participated yeah. and then kept their mouth closed. Yeah. That's, that's, the wild, that's crazy. That's the wild thing. Yeah. I mean, I enjoy the man music too, but at at what cost, though? Seriously? No. Uh uh. Your child only gonna have their innocence for a short amount of time. Mm -hmm. Let them keep it for as long as they can. Well, what you what you talking about? Oh, you look like you you still trying to get that that challenge going on? Just saying, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll we'll work something out. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, that's that's the thing, you know. I see female pimp in there talking crazy. You had a kid that can sing. How you know what you gonna do? Let me tell y'all something. My sister that passed away. When I say she could, she could sing. She could sing. A lot of people say, "Oh, you know, I got somebody they can, they can sing." They can, that motherfucker be sounding like frogs and shit. Be sounding terrible. But like <laughs> people would would like go out of her way, out like of their way. Mahomes. Yeah, straight up. <laughs> would go out of their way to, to try to get her to sing it. <clears throat> At weddings and stuff like that, but she wasn't singing just know everything because one, like I said, we was raised Jehovah's Witness, and she was she was to the T. She wasn't with none of that bullshit. She wasn't with none of that fooly shit. And so <clears throat> she had offers. Like you know how Mariah Carey has that that extra octave that she can hit um, that very few people can hit. My yeah. sister, my sister could hit that note. Like they would ask her to sing. She would sing Mariah Carey songs at weddings and stuff like that all the time, and could hit those notes like. 
was cold with it. But again, like I say, she got sick at a real young age. She had sick cell. But she had offers, like, to go places. But she said she wasn't putting none of that before her religion. So, like, I, I, I agree. It's the integrity. Um, you know, because she knew what that, that world was like and what it was about. So she was like, she didn't want nothing to do with that. You know, she felt like God first and, and all that. I, look, I trust me, I'm not... Uh, I'm not quite that strong. I wouldn't, you know, my mom was a little bit more devout during that time. And, you know, she kind of fell out a little bit and then she got back into it. She's back into it strong now. So maybe I might, I might have missed out on some of that boat. Might have been a good thing. Might have been a bad thing. It is what it is. But so integrity is a big key. And my mom ain't never push her to do no shit like that. Um, she never encouraged her to do no, no foolishness like that. I remember she won an award for singing. She won like, she was in a, in a, in a talent show. Uh, what was that? That Superwoman? I forgot who sung that song back in the day. I'm not your superwoman or whatever. Like, I forgot who it was. But yeah, she won some, won, won some awards for singing that shit. But <clears throat> look, that's what I say. So, you know, it is. It's about your integrity. Because yeah, a lot of these motherfuckers nowadays can't sing for shit. They just sound good with some auto-tune on their shit. And, you know, yeah. it, it, it is what it is. So, you know. The, yeah. the, the best singing voice I ever heard was this uh, young girl. This was a while back. Mm -hmm. I had went to the studio and my partner was, uh, he was on the controls and shit. Mm -hmm. And he had this song playing and this girl was singing. And so I walked in, you know, we got everybody up and I'm like, damn, she sound good. Mm -hmm. And he was like, yeah, you think so? I was like, yeah, when she recorded that. Mm -hmm. And he was like, fool, she singing live. Yeah. I'm like, get off the bullshit. This little girl, I mean, this little motherfucker could blow. Then when yeah. she came out that booth, she was about little. She about like five foot, a yeah. hundred pounds soaking <laughs> wet, but had a voice on her. I'm like, God, that, that's you singing like that? Yeah. And she and she had a real, real soft voice. Like, yeah. I'm like, damn. Mm -hmm. Like, she had one of those, uh, what's, what's her name? Christina Aguilera. Like, one of those big, powerful ass voices. Yeah. And I'm like, girl, if you... <laughs> If you just get it together, you got the talent, but she ended up not pursuing it. She was more like a church singer. She didn't want to try to make money off of it. She was in love with the Lord and all that, which is cool. I get that, but <clears throat> this girl could blow. Yeah, on. Jesus, Jesus taking all the good singers, goddamn. You know, he don't, don't want to let him be great. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me stop. <laughs> y'all gonna, gonna get mad at me like, I mean, uh, like they yeah, got Yeah, like he needs some more. He got all the dead ones already, <laughs> goddamn. What the fuck he needs the live ones for, too? Shit. Yeah, look, look, let, let us hear some of that. You know, y'all gonna, gonna get on me like y'all did Dan. Shout out to Dan and the man, man. Y'all, y'all, they got mad in that chat when he said, Jesus ain't fucking with y'all niggas, boy. <laughs> <laughs> That shit was funny than a bitch. Oh my god, that shit was funny. That chat started. Uh -oh. <clears throat> that whole tune started changing. People ain't like Dan no way. Some some folks was mad. He was talking about Jesus. He said Jesus wasn't fucking with us niggas. I love Jesus. <laughs> hey man. I, I, I was I was second the fact that Jesus probably don't fuck with nigga shit. <laughs> I, I would concur that statement. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He don't fuck with some niggas because every nigga ain't bad, but some of the the shit the niggas do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think he'd take too kindly to that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to agree with you on that, man. I've been hearing about anyway, that. Anyway, I'm going to get off of here because I've been on here for a while. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. We've been chopping <laughs> up for a minute, but it's all good. Yeah, I'm going to get ready to wind it down. I forgot I got started late. It's already one, so let me get my ass back on track, back on schedule. But I appreciate you calling me in, Professor Trill. You know what I'm saying? It's always good to chop it up, man. All right, Hancho. All right, then, folks. All right, I'm you, man, y'all can't get mad. Sometimes we chop it up Professor Trio, man. It's just like a good call. Uh, we'll take one more. We'll, we'll take we'll take this last call. We'll make it quick, and then we're going to get up out of here. What's the motherfucking deal? Who we got calling into the DNS evening? Let's take one more. We'll, we'll take. There you are, Joe. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Who we got? Bretto in the house. What's the oh, motherfucking shit. deal, man? Yeah, it's Bretto, man. I What's wasn't sure, man. My fucking internet's all fucked up because I saw you talking, and I heard you talking to Trill and Andrew. Yeah. And I was like, oh, shit, how the fuck is that? Anyway, so. But um, the comment is, uh, we're talking about, do you like strong women? Yes. Do, do you think men like strong women? I need Lashana Lynch to help me fight. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. No, fuck no, I don't like strong women, dude. I like feminine women. Mm. Okay. 
And this is what scares me because political correctness doesn't just target masculinity. Like, it, it also targets femininity, too. You know that? Mm-hmm. It does. It really does. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know that, aren't you? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. yeah. You know, and they, they want to femi- fem- oh, sorry. Mm-hmm. They want to uh, feminize men, but they want to masculine women, which is fucking weird. Fucking weird, doesn't make sense to me. But, like, if you ask, like, why they want to do that, it's because political correctness isn't about masculinity. It's not. Political correctness is also anti-femininity. Or feminine, I don't even know if that's femininity, I don't even think it's a fucking word. But, but, you know, like, have you noticed something? is old fashioned mm-hmm. have you noticed that like they, they're always fucking pushing that shit like it's old fashioned you don't need it nobody needs to be fucking feminine anymore nope yeah. nobody fucking needs that shit have you noticed that not you it's yeah. happening all the time yeah I see him trying to, I see him trying to change the game up <clears throat> and it's uh, very awkward yeah they want it to make it to where people think it's not cool to be who you are you know, they, they don't want it to be cool to be who you are. No, it's not, it's not cool to be feminine. You know, you got to change. you got to challenge the status quo. You know, why, why do you need to wear makeup? Why do you need to wear makeup and dress nice for a man? Why do you need to do it? That's what they want to push it to you. Why do you need to do it, ladies? Why do you need to impress a man? Yeah, the same thing goes for men, you know. You know, you don't work out. You don't need to work out. You don't need to do that, Ancho. No, you don't, you know. You don't need to be tough. Mm. You don't need to be, you know, you don't need to face and fight an enemy. It's better to just walk away, be scared, and just submit to tyranny, Ancho. Mm. That's the best thing to do, yeah. Just just, just walk away. You know, even if you're being attacked, you know, just walk away. Just, just, just run. Just fucking run. That's what they want you to fucking do. You know? Like what we've seen in Bond. You know, how this women fight, this, this, there's a women fighter, you, you don't need to be a fighter. You know, we, we got her, she could, she could kick some ass. You don't, you don't need to be a fighter. This is the fighter right here. And this is all fucking PC fucking shit. And it, when it comes to PC, Honcho, I'm going to tell you something. And this is, I'm really starting to get scared about this. Um, I got two stories to tell you about. Well, short stories, not long stories. But um, when I was in Aruba, like, what what I've been noticing is, like, uh, I don't know if it's, like, a lot of black teens are starting, because of PC and how they're trying to make it seem like white guys are, you know, you need to worry about white guys and white men and all that shit. I've been seeing that a lot of, like, black teens are getting scared of white people. I'm dead ass serious. You, you guys might not understand, but like, I'll give you an example. Like, I was in Aruba. Like I said, I was walking down the street, and there were these two like black teenager kids, and like, I was walking behind them, and like, the the one of the kids was like, "No, get out of the way! Get out of the way! He's right behind you! Just go, go, get out of the way! Go, 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 go!" And I was like, "It's okay, man. It's okay. I'm not in a hurry. You know, it's okay. Just calm down. You don't need to freak out." But he was like, he was scared to death of me. Like, he'd never seen a white guy before. He was flipping out, you know? And uh, another thing happened to me today when I was at the 99 cent store. Um, there was this, uh, I want to say somewhere between the age of 15 to 17 years old, there was a, a, a black guy, a black teenager, and he had, uh, he was leaning up against the refrigerator at the 99 cent store where they had all the 99 cent sodas. And I didn't yell. I was very calm, and I said it very quietly. I said, excuse me, sir. He says, because I wanted to get a soda out of the, the refrigerator, you know. He's like, oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, sir. I'm so sorry. He said it like three fucking times, dude. He was scared to death of me. And it was really fucking weird. I'm, I'm telling you, dead ass serious. And I think it's because of the PC culture. This guy was scared to death of me. Like, I don't know, I think they're just promoting this. You know what I mean? Like, and basically what I'm trying to say is, like, 
you know how, and I'm sure there might be some people in your that might be watching this and might understand, but like, you know, like if you see like an old lady late at night, she'll lock up her doors, like when she's driving her car. Do you know mm-hmm. what I'm talking about, Honcho? Sure she's yeah. a black guy. Yeah. Uh, it's happening. I think it's time. getting to that point to where like the black youth is getting scared of white people. Hmm. I'm dead ass fucking serious. Because like I said, when I was in Aruba, hmm. these kids were scared to death of me. And I didn't even do anything. I was like, it's okay, guys. I mean, you know, I'm just trying to get through. And like I said, like the 99 cent store today, these kids were, sc- this guy, I could smell the fucking fear on him, bro. He was scared shitless. And I was like, it's okay. It's okay, man. I'm your friend. I'm not going to hurt you. I come in peace. But he was scared shitless of me. And I think it's because of the fucking PC shit. Honestly, Hancho, how do you feel about that? But I honestly, like, I really think it's because of that. Like, he was scared shitless from me. Hmm. That's, uh, that's, that's interesting. I don't, I don't know. Like, if you were to... <clears throat> Describe yourself, bro. Would you say that you maybe look like uh, any type of law enforcement? Like, what kind of haircut do you have? <laughs> um, right now, my hair, it's, uh, I, I normally have a buzz cap, but right now it's kind of long and I have a beard on me. I don't know, maybe he thought I was a white supremacist. I don't know, but, I mean, this kid was scared fucking shitless. Have you ever looked at somebody... And just been able to see, like, just smell the fear on them. Have you ever noticed that before, Hancho? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it. <laughs> it happens more often probably than it should. But, you know, it is what it is. It's their problem, not mine. Um, yeah, so, yeah, that's, that's tough. That's, uh... And it is... Yeah, I'm sorry, what was that? No, I, say, I just say it's, it's very interesting, you know. I don't... Oh, yeah. You know, I'm really worried about, because, I mean, honestly, they're pushing this, and I think it's coming to the point where, like, like I said, I mean, there's some white old ladies that are scared of, of black guys, and I think it's going to come to the point where, like, you know, black kids are scared of white people. Like, I honestly, I think, because, like I said, dude, it was coming to that today, bro. Like, even when I was in Aruba, like, these kids were scared shitless of me, and I was like, dude, calm down. Like, I could smell the fucking fear on them, and I... I don't know why they'd be scared of me other than, like, maybe the media is portraying me as a villain or whatnot. But, I mean, that's just the intention. Not the intention, but that's the thought that was coming in my head. But, anyways, like, that's what I'm talking about, like, how bad the media is getting. And, you know, the PC community, like, they insult feminine women as much as they insult masculine men, like I said. And, like, if you support PC... You know, against white people, you know, guess what? Like anybody, if you support political correctness against white people, they're going to come for you too eventually. Eventually they're going to fucking come for you too because the fucking government is doing this shit, right? Let's check this out. Like, once the white man, once we're done for, they're going to come for you because we're the first target, but eventually they're going to be coming for you guys. It's going to be happening. Can you hear me, Hacho? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. All right. Like I said, because after the white man, it will be masculinity. So, like, it's not just white men, but Asian men, black men, Hispanic. If you're masculine, they're going to be coming for you. Well, the Asians, the Asians, Asians are all right, better. though. The Asians, all the Asians know martial arts, so they, they, they're never in fear. They just, you know, they'll, they'll fight their way out of it. So, I'm not, I'm not worried about it. Asians will be all right. <laughs> I mean, eventually, well, like, you get what I'm saying, though. Like, like they're going to be coming for just masculine, like, like what I'm saying. Like, right now, it's you know, we're going after the white guy, and so there's we pissed off so many people throughout history that people are like, fuck yeah, they support it. There's a lot of people that are like, oh, fuck the white guy, fuck him. But eventually, like, if you support that, you're a dumbass because eventually they're going to come for you. You know, eventually it's just going to be like, like I said, like after the white man, after the white man, it's going to just be masculinity. Mm-hmm. So if you're a masculine black guy, a masculine Asian, eventually they're going to be coming after you, whatever, Hispanic, whatever the fuck you are. It's going to be your who they're going to be targeting, okay? After that, it's going to be heterosexuality, okay? You know, oh, you're, you're heterosexual, but you don't know how it's like to be us. 
You don't know how it's like to be us. And then eventually it's going to be gender. Right? Mm. Now, in this era, it's cool to be transgender, you know. But check this out. 20 years from now, later on, who knows. Soon, transgender people are going to be the target, aren't you? Fuck yeah, there are, because that's not the end game, okay? Because what they want, they, they, they don't want inclusiveness. That's why you see these James Bond movies with fucking a black female. They don't give a fuck about inclusiveness. That's just, a, that's just they're trying to push this to get to their end game. That, that, they don't give a fuck about any of this shit, dude. That's how they get people on board. Like, oh, well, see... Look, we got a transgender actress. Look, look, we got a black female James Bond. Look, oh, it's so fucking cool. Look, look. Yeah, okay. Well, <laughs> until the transgender fan... Oh, sorry. I read it wrong. The transgender fad. It's going to end soon, though, aren't you? You know what I mean? It is. It's not going to last. It's really not. Fuck this transgender fad, because it's not going to last. Because when the transgender community will soon be the target. Because they don't give a fuck about transgenders either. They don't give a fuck. They're just fucking using them. They don't give a fucking rat's ass. This PC fucking movement was never about inclusiveness. It was about control. Get rid of that mess right there. Now, eventually... Their goal is to push an agender movement, which is the absence of gender. Because agenders are 1984. That's exactly what they fucking want. 1984, Honcho, was not a fictional story. It was a fucking agenda. An agenda that's been planned for some time to eventually create the new world order. Mm. And this is social engineering. All right? So any of you guys that support political correctness, I just want to say you're a fucking retard, and good luck, because you're going to burn, too, in the end. And that's all i got to say, Pancho. You have a good one, brother. <laughs> all right, brother. Anyway. appreciate the call, man. Oh, man, man. That's a BT. All right, we'll take one. I see, I see, I see my partner trying to get in. So I said, we'll, we'll, we'll take uno mas. And this will be the last one. Where we at? Where we at? Where we at? Uh... Oh, shit, I'm calling you. You calling me body. We're going to do it like this. What's the motherfucking deal? Who we got calling into the den this evening? Hello, hello. I don't think I'm not blind enough. Let me make sure I ain't switched it over. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Testing, testing. Look, I was calling him. You're calling me. I might have, might have got mixed up. There we go. We'll do it like this. All right. <laughs> What's the motherfucking deal we got called in to the dead this evening? What's the motherfucking deal we got called in? Yo, 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 you know who it is, man. Yes, sir, yes, sir. What's on your mind, man? What, what, what you, how, how, how you feeling there, Rock? What's on your mind, man? Where the nigga Professor Trill at, man? Uh, I think Trill's still in the building. Let me see, let me see. All right, man, we better go at it for like 15, 20 minutes real quick. <laughs> All right, what's on your mind? All right. So my man, my man over here telling everybody that it's supposed to be a certain way, when in reality, it's supposed to be the common way. You know what I'm saying? It's supposed to be the, it's supposed to be the, get your bread, fuck the bitches, keep progressing. But we don't be worried about how strong a woman is, when in reality, we should be worried about Shit, man, when we gonna die, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Like, dying is more important than fucking all these bitches and fucking all these other fucking shits and worrying about whatever the fuck else is gonna happen. 
agree. I agree. So, so my, thing, my thing, my thing, the professor drill is okay. Yeah, we feel you, man. We feel everything that you're saying. Everything that you're saying is correct, man. But how are we gonna talk about going to the further level? You know what I'm saying? It's further than that. It's further than just a little topic that we're talking about on the internet, man. It go further than that. Mm. It go further than just past all right, nigga, you know, strong women are cool, man. It's cool. Yeah, we love strong women. But what are we going to do as men to be able to prevent having to have to deal with women who think that they're stronger than us? Mm. Mm. Because a lot of stronger women... They see women. They 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 they, they 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 see women. They see men as us, who are strong as fuck, who are mad available to all of the bullshit that they put up with, and they think that okay, simultaneously we can just get every nigga that we want. No, you can't get every nigga that you want because at the end of the day, man, you can't get everybody that you want because we strong men as well. You strong. You strong women. Yeah, for sure. Okay, that's cool. You're a strong woman. But what is a strong woman without a strong man? Yeah, it ain't nothing. It's, it's a waste. But I, I got a question for you, though, because we, we see what kind of movements and stuff that's been going on in society. And I think a lot of these are, <clears throat> you know, the Me Too's and all that stuff. But I think these are a lot of weaker women that are trying to bring down strong men because they feel some type of uh, disparity, maybe. So what do you what do you feel about those kind of women? They're not they're not a lot of them are not necessarily strong women in their own right, but they band together. They use those false allegations to try to turn society's opinion on stronger hold on, men. Hold on. So you mean you mean the women that are you mean the women that are part of the Me Too movement? Yeah, yeah. Especially those those false accusations, the ones especially like those who are using those false accusations and things like that to to try hold to on. bring down stronger men. Is that nigga Professor Shirley still here? I'm trying to see. I don't know. He look. He he, he he might have slid out. I'm trying to see. I don't see him in the chat. I don't know okay. What up? You boys? You still real nigga? Shit. You still real nigga? So how I feel about that? And you specifically talked about. Say one more time. Say one more time for me, so I can answer you correctly. Okay. So you know you're talking about strong men and strong women, but what about those women who are not necessarily as strong, but they want to be in that position, so they use like the Me Too movements, or they group together in these movements, and a lot mm -hmm. of them that are making these false accusations to bring down stronger men so that they can replace them in those positions. Oh, he's still, okay, Professor Trill's still here. All right, so what about, what do you feel about those kind of women? All right, Jay, Jay Dizzle, I see you still in the chat. All right, let's say, call back in after this call. Okay, so how I feel is all the women who expect a strong man should be expecting the same thing out of themselves. Mm. You feel me? Mm. So, say for example, all right, we're just going to clear the whole bait. All right, we're going to say, we're going to say, say for example, a woman who has one kid, right? Mm. Okay. She got one kid. All right. Okay, so you got one kid. You expect the nigga, you, you expect the world after the nigga who likes you. You feel me? You expect everything from that one man. But what the fuck you gonna do about yourself if that one man, everybody don't like you? Right? So, okay, all right, that nigga don't like you. So what the fuck you gonna do next? You gotta figure out, all right, okay, that nigga don't like me. Okay, so what am I gonna do next? The next part is to figure out you you still a strong woman as yourself, as a black woman, as a white woman, as a Mexican woman. You still you still strong. Mm -hmm. It don't matter about the nigga that who is providing for you or the nigga that want to provide for you. Mm -hmm. It's about you. It's about you. It's about yourself. Mm -hmm. So what you gonna do about yourself? Mm -hmm. Are you gonna sit back and just be relaxing, or are you gonna be the nigga that be like, all right, fuck that nigga strong too. He may not have no kids, but that nigga strong. He going to work. He always providing. You might want to fuck with the nigga who's always providing instead of the nigga that may act like he want to provide for you and then that nigga don't do shit for you. Yeah. That nigga may not do nothing for you. And if you don't do nothing for you, then you're going to go back and be like, man, I want a nigga like Hancho. I want a nigga like Hoorah. I want a nigga like Professor Trill. I want a nigga like DeMarcus. I want a nigga like 
fucking Drake. I want a nigga like fucking anybody who got the money who's going to be really providing for me. None of these niggas really provide for the bitches except for the niggas who got heart. It's all about the heart. That's all I'm going to say. It's all about the nigga who got heart. If you ain't got no heart, you ain't going to be able to provide them this shit. You ain't going to be the nigga that's going to be able to be provided for all the bitches that got all the shit, who got five or six kids. You ain't going to be able to be the nigga that's going to be on top. You ain't going to be the nigga that's going to be able to provide for anybody else. So worry about yourself and know that there are niggas who are on the set, simply on the set, who call you, my nigga, at 833 <laughs> Look, man, there's a lot of bitches out here who can't respect the nigga who really trying to get it. <laughs> and we the niggas trying to get it. And I understand you have to answer every call. And me and Professor Trill, me and Professor Trill, me and Jay Dizzle, we're going to tell you how it is. We'll keep you right there in the pocket. There are a lot of women out there that want to act like they do really got it, but they really got it. Yeah. You feel me? I feel you. Yeah, it's a lot of, it's a lot of people who going to be faking the fuck. It's a lot of people who going to be putting on for the internet yeah. or for whoever else. Man, that shit don't do nothing for me, man. You know what I'm saying? That shit don't do nothing for me. Like, all that trying to impress somebody... You know, right. or, or, or flogging for somebody knowing that when you got to get back to reality that you are none of these things that you portraying yourself mm -hmm. as. Man, mm -hmm. I, I ain't got no, I ain't got no, no time for none of that shit. Yeah, as soon as you get back to reality, they have to realize niggas who are real, who put in their work, who try to provide for a perfect woman, ain't always gonna be there for them. You feel me? No. So nigga who. Like a nigga who, like you, bro, you be up here all night. You feel me? Mm -hmm. A nigga like Bill Dizzle, he be up there all night trying to discuss what you try to find that perfect woman. Myself, <laughs> I try to find the perfect woman. But in reality, the perfect woman got to find the perfect man. It ain't about that. We trying to get that bread. We gonna get the bread regardless. You feel me? We gonna get that money regardless. True. I mean, that's just your job as a man. Because, I mean, you you are looked at as a provider. So you have to provide. Regardless of whether you got a woman or not, you have to be provided. Yeah. You have to be taking care of business. So, I mean, that's that's to have a good woman by your side. That's a, a bonus point. But either way it goes, mm -hmm. you, you still got to go get it. So, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. So, my thing is, I ain't getting off the call anytime soon, man. So tell me, so, 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 so run down to me. What, what was really being expressed in the calls today? Man, like I say, today, I, I don't know. Like I said, as far as the, the calls today, uh, I think everybody was kind of on the same page. You know, basically saying, you know, a strong woman doesn't necessarily a woman that's being loud and being, you know, having an attitude. A strong woman is a woman that also handles her business and doesn't, you know, succumb to a lot of the bullshit. Uh, we had a couple of people talk about the, uh, because we had the earlier show, we was talking about education, how important education is and moving forward in life. So like I said, we just kind of had a few various calls tonight. Some people spoke on education, some people spoke on the, uh, on as far as, you know, the relationship wise and how that goes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. How do you, how, let me ask you, how do you feel, how do you feel about a woman who may have kids? And you strong nigga out of all of them. So you say like a chick who has kids and a man don't want to deal with her? Right. Man, I think that I, I look at it like this because like I say, you know, like I say, my old lady has, has one kid. And then when I was kind of back on the market, I was kind of skeptical of dealing with a chick with kids. I don't have any, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like... I'm I'm self I'm not gonna lie, I'm selfish with my time. So if I want access to you, I want access to you when I wanna have you. I don't if I haven't had any kids, if I don't have no nothing that's stopping me from being able to hang out with you, I didn't want to deal with that. But like I say, the chick, like I say, the conversation was so good, we talked about some shit and her head was in such the right place, like I said, you know what, okay, well I'm willing to make some small sacrifices here and there and, and see what we can make this work out as. And so far, so good. You know, no complaints. I've had to make some adjustments playing that father figure role and, and and being, you know, a part of that child's life. Because I believe if you take on a chick, you have to take on those children too. 
It's a package deal. Mm-hmm. You can't just, oh, I just want to be with this chick, fuck them kids, or treat them kids like shit, or if you have a kid with well, you know, treat other kids like shit. It's a package deal. You know, all that comes together. Mm-hmm. And I couldn't respect a woman who would put a man before her kids. Like, that, to me, that's that's a, that's a lame. That's not a strong woman. That's a desperate woman. If you're putting a man before your children, your, your own flesh and blood, uh, that makes me question your integrity. Let me ask, so, Let me ask you. Yeah. How many women have called in who have kids and are still expecting a man who's strong? Mm. And some of these conversations that we've had, I think we've had a few. I don't like I say, I know a lot of the the, the women who do have children. They are <clears throat> married, and they, a lot of them have their stuff together. But there's been a couple I believe that do have children, and they still have like a certain standard they want. And I can't fault them for that. But some of the ones who have called in, they've already set that standard for themselves, and so they just expect a man to match that. And so I have nothing. Uh, I can't, I can't, I can respect that. If you set a high standard for yourself and you handle your business as a woman, as a mother, then a man should match that. If you're not asking him for anything to, to help support you, if you're not asking for uh, relief in the situation, you just want him to match your grind or match your hustle, then I I can't, I commend that. I can't hate that at all. You know what I'm saying? But if you're a woman and you ain't got nothing going on and you just depend solely on the government and all that shit, and then you expected a man to come and, and swoop you off your feet and make you a Disney princess, but you ain't doing shit for yourself or your kids, but then you got, you, you, you know, good luck to you. That's all I can say with that, you know? Yes, sir. So let me ask you. Okay, so out of the women who have called you, which I I expect probably about half of the women who have called you out of this topic, oh. let me ask you, have any of them realize the fact that men have to go to work as well mm-hmm. yeah. okay. and after that after the hold up because i mean we go to work and i know a lot of men who go to work just to simply provide for the child support mm-hmm. you feel me mm-hmm. yeah okay so a lot of niggas go to work because of child support and i've talked to a lot of niggas who be like man i go to work from eight in the morning to eight at night and I only get ten dollars out of that mm-hmm. all right mm-hmm. so i'm like man what the fuck Okay, so you want a strong man who go to work eight to eight, but then you can't expect the fact that that nigga want to be able to just be able to chill back for a little bit and be able to smoke his weed, be able to drink his beer, be able to just chill back. But, you know, but like, you know, women, they, they, they're a special breed because, you know, women, they, they, they need that attention and they need those things that come with it. And us as men, you know, we sometimes we like that solitude. We like that a long time. It's not that we doing anything. It's not that we up to nothing or anything like that. But sometimes we just need that time yeah. to ourselves yeah. to reflect or, or whatever it may be. And I think that okay. certain women get it, but certain women I think don't get it because as a man, I think you can chill with your chick or your old lady or however you want to identify it and not say anything. Just be maybe in the same vicinity. I can smoke something. I pass you the blood or whatever. I don't necessarily want to talk though. You know, I just may be in my own mind. I don't mind you being here. I don't mind the stuff here. I pass you the weed or whatever. It it doesn't have to be a conversation, but women, they have to express something. They they have to have something coming out. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Finish that, finish that, finish that after a minute. Finish that after a minute. Okay, what you got? Okay. So they feel like they have to express everything, right? Yeah. Okay, me as men, we as men, you, myself, I don't know who else is left on here, but true, mm-hmm. right? Okay, so we men, right? Yeah. We have to make sure that we provide an appropriate amount so therefore that the woman that we really care about can feel comfortable in a situation that she's in, right? Yeah. Okay, so therefore, she should not have any problems with the fact that a man goes to work eight to eight mm-hmm. and only get ten dollars and even if that ten dollars is only put in towards the, the smoke you know what i mean i smoke yeah. i know you don't smoke anymore mm-hmm. but fuck i mean she has to realize the fact that a nigga is going to work standing on his ten toes all day mm-hmm. and is providing the rest of the money for the kids we're providing the rest of the money to make sure that she can eat right mm-hmm. and then therefore that man can't have a little bit of money to himself? Yeah, I mean, if he put in the work, you know, he he, he needs something. To, and the thing, again, is a single situation to situation. And I see y'all in there talking about Ice Bay. I saw Ice Bay first. 
Yeah, I, I will play. Look, I don't. Y'all know that's usually out of my descriptors. I, when I, I saw Ice Bay when that shit happened, now everybody else on the Ice Bay. I thought I was tripping when I peeped. Ice Bay would get this work. I don't know if it's the uniform or whatever, but hey, yeah, Ice, Ice Bay would get that action. But yeah, if you put in the work, man, you you deserve some of your revenue. And even if you know, mm-hmm. if she has to understand, it's like it's it's different if you just fucking off and you ain't doing nothing and you ain't got mm-hmm. nothing going on, as opposed to you know she know that you work and she know that you. Mm-hmm. Ryan, hey, sometimes you need a little bit something to to to, to take the edge okay. off a little bit of uh, relaxation or whatever it may be. You know what I'm saying? So I, I can't fault you for that. You know, yeah, that I agree. Like as long as everything else is in order, you know, everything, all the rest of the business is handled, and you're doing what you got to do, and you, you got responsibilities to handle. You know, hey, you got to do what you got to do. All right, okay, I feel you on that. So tell me how you feel about. So you go on the stream all day, right? For the most part, yeah, we back forth the stream early in the morning, well, in the middays and the late nights, yeah. All right, tell me how you feel if you made a thousand dollars and the rest of that shit, all you got was twenty dollars. Tell me how you feel. I would be uh, highly upset. Shit, that's why I don't even like uh, using the super chats because Google be hoeing. <laughs> that's why I use the other thing instead of super. Because Google, Google be hoeing a nigga. That's why I say they they take what thirty uh, percent of your shit and then they make you wait till next month before you got. I don't like this. That's why I use the other thing. So I, I feel you. If you look, you put in all that work, you only getting a little a small percentage. That's like getting pimped. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's, what, what, that's what it is. Like. That's what I'm trying to hit up Professor Trill. That's what I'm telling Professor Trill. How you gonna feel about? A woman who want to act like she's the strongest motherfucker in the world but still needs you on the side. Mm-hmm. And regardless if it's only $10 she needs, if you the nigga that's going ahead and providing for all that, how she gonna feel if you ain't the nigga that's providing for that and you got all the kids from it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So my thing is, like you say, do women like strong women? Or do men like strong women? No. Man... I love a strong woman. I love African women. I love women that can provide for themselves. But at the same time, I like a woman who's going to be able to be like, you help me as well. You know what I mean? Be like, this is a 50-50 kind of thing. This ain't no, I'm doing 75, you doing 25, and the kid just out here doing whatever the fuck they want to. Nah, this is a, if you do 75 and I do 25, I'm going to make sure that the rest of the percentage, even though that's 100, I'm going to make sure that even if we go past 100, that that kid is taken care of, that that kid knows exactly how to live a man life, that that kid knows exactly how to fuck. with the kid. No, it's 100% all in. That's what a strong woman want. That's what strong women want. They want a nigga that's going to be able to be protective as well as be able to provide for the kids that they may have had in some type of fucked up relationship and you got to take on that burden. You feel me? Oh. It should be bad. I think the volume messed up for a second. Y'all let me know if it's back. It should be. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, but that's okay. what I like, like. Yeah, but like... Mm-hmm. Just, Hold on, hold on. These niggas talking about the sound went out and shit. They say it's back. Okay, that's good. Yeah, because a little, uh, a little automated thing hit the button off for a second. Put you back. <laughs> but yeah, no. But I agree, man. That's, if, if, if a man is gonna be a part of that, you you gotta, you know, yeah, whatever, yeah. whatever burdens you got. And I think I think that's the difficult part because I, I have noticed that a lot of women have said, you know, when we talk about these situations that I've, even women who have children said that they would not deal. And when we had not even today, but in previous topics. Women that have kids when they own some of them that are single moms that they wouldn't deal with a man that has kids. And I find that to be kind of an unfair double standard, you know, because you would want a man to deal with you. You wouldn't want a man to judge you because of the kids that you have. But I did notice a lot of women saying that, oh, I wouldn't deal with a man because uh, he got kids. You know what I'm saying? And it's, yeah. it's, and it's tough. And so I find that unfair. I think that's a I think that's a double standard. You know what I mean? And I think that's that's very unfortunate. But. You know, it kind of it kind of is what it is. Um, 
But I think that if you do as a man and you know you got a situation going on and you know the chick that you get with has kids, you got to embrace all that. There is no, oh, well, that's just your kids. I'm just with you. Like, you got to take on that whole package. So if that's going to be your lady, you got to approach them kids as your kids, whether they biologically yours or not. And if you got kids from a previous arrangement, that's something you know coming into the situation. And so I know that it can make those, uh, what do they call them? They call them, what do they call those family? Uh, not combined families. They call them something. But a joint, uh, a joint family, yeah, something like a joint family, something like that. But basically, it mm-hmm. makes it difficult. You just gotta, you gotta find ways to make it work. And I think both parties have to have a level of understanding to make that mm-hmm. work. You know what I'm saying? And so, you know, it is what it is. So okay, so, you know, Professor Shrill talking about Buggy mm-hmm. Daddy's boy drama too, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> I don't deal with baby daddies. <laughs> that's that's what I say. That, that, and that's that's a different that's a, that's that's an element of the situation too. I don't I don't deal with baby daddies. Like if you if you got kids now, like I say, in my situation, uh, the 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 father of the child passed away. So you know, I definitely, especially she definitely needs that role model in her life because she doesn't have that. Even if she, you know, even if he was, well, he, well, he, if he was available, but he's no, he's not available to 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 be there. So I embrace that role. But if it's another chicken, you got, you know, two, three different kids, and you got uh, two or three different baby man. Look, you whatever situation you got going on with them, you better have that shit together before you even if you expect me to fuck with you or to, to 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 kick it with you like that or even to take anything serious because i'm not gonna play that like you know like i said i'm cool calm collected dude but if you come over here playing with some shit because you mad about some pussy or some some shit you know with the kids or whatever that, man we're gonna handle this shit. it's gonna be a one-time thing and that's gonna be it it's gonna be a one-time thing it's either gonna go all the way there or we gonna handle it. We gonna sit down like men, and we gonna have a conversation. And we gonna, hey, this is I don't know what the other niggas is or what you thought you was getting with. Or if you think you that nigga, well, let's go ahead and do what we gotta do. And then my thing is, I'm I'm finna minimize the nonsense. And again, it just really ain't like I say. If she just like I say, if it's if it's more than one, I really ain't finna deal with. Because like I say, especially if you know I know what type of niggas you fucking with and all that other shit. Uh, I don't care how fine she is. That's the decisions you make. That's what you gotta deal with. Because I'm not finna fall in to a, a legal situation, you know, behind, you know, your action or behind your drama and your problems. I ain't got time for that shit, you know? Just so my thing, my thing is, okay, I feel how you feel about that, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, that you feel like baby daddies, if they aren't um, presently involved in the kid's maturation, maturation, yeah. They're not involved in the maturation of the kid. Then the nigga who is there every fucking day, like you, who is there providing for that maturation in order to provide for that kid to get to another level. Mm-hmm. If that is there, period, regardless, regardless of future or present terms, how is a woman supposed to tell you that you ain't a strong man? If you're the nigga that's there providing for that future present, which is the key to get to another level. Do you feel what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I feel you. And that's the, that's, the, that's, that's the thing. I think, like I say, you know, uh, and, let me make sure I word this right. And I think I, I, I give a lot of... Hold on, hold on, hold on. I ain't trying to be, I ain't trying to be the right boys on your calls that's, that's over here trying to take all day. Yeah. You feel me? No. I'm trying to be the nigga that come to you as realization and shit. So we could talk about it so definitely we can get to some real ass nigga shit. Yeah. I'm maybe be talking about some other shit, but I'm talking about niggas who are presently in this fucking situation. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Who really fucking dealing with this shit, who's really talking about real shit. Yeah. Yeah. No, I feel you. And that's what I say. Like, I, because what I'm saying is, like, I'm not trying to give myself no, no brownie points or nothing, but I got to, I, I have a little level of respect. And again, it just for, for the men that do step up in these situations. And I think that, not me, because I don't feel any particular way about it, but I think there's some dudes out there that don't get the respect from the women that they are with for stepping in and being that father figure, being that role model, being that uh, supporter for those kids that may or may not be theirs, that may not be theirs, because that's not that's not uh, uh, something that he brought onto this earth. And because, you know, if she made a prior bad decision with the nigga she was with beforehand, 
you know, and you know, this other man has to come in and clean up these mistakes and, and step in. That's what that's something that bothers me because I've seen a lot of women sit there and say, "Oh, he's not a real man if he can't uh, love me and my kid." Well, that's not his job. If he accepts you and your children, then that is a bonus. But if he's a dude and he has no kids and he ain't, gonna, he doesn't have to accept you and your children. It doesn't make him any less of a man. If he doesn't want to deal with that, if he's made a decision in his life, say, okay, up to this point, I haven't, I don't have any stray kids around anywhere. I haven't had a baby mama. I haven't done this or done that. doesn't make him any less of a man because he's not willing to absorb your burden from the bad decisions or a bad situation that you may have had. Even if it was a marriage that went sour, yeah. if you didn't have a bunch of kids out of wedlock, or whatever it is, that doesn't, that doesn't define his role as a man, nothing. But I've seen a lot of women who have that mentality. Well, uh, if he, if he don't like me cause I got kids, he's just not a real man. That don't, that then, and that's a, like I say, that's that double standard as opposed to some of those same women will say, well, I could, I wouldn't date a man with kids. Well then, was that, does that make you not a real woman? Does that make you not a real motherly type? Or how does that, like, how, what if you flip the script and you get offended by that type of stuff? So that's what I'm saying. It's a lot of, it's a lot of foolishness that goes on. It's a lot of fucking goofy shit that goes on. And I think people got to take a step back and realize what's happening. And I think that those guys who do step in, I think that they are a lot of them that deal with some problematic women that, that put a lot of pressure on them and a lot of stress on them. Like I said, my situation, I don't feel like I had that. I feel appreciated. Um, but that don't get that love and they, they're picking up an additional man's responsibility a man who may be alive a man who might be in the neighborhood or right around the corner or whatever but he's not a part of his court. child's life you know but he's not a part he's not a part of his uh child's life you know and so that's the wild shit to me i feel you i feel you mm -hmm. so my thing is to you and to, and to professor trill and mr trill the jay dizzle uh, I don't know what you call yourself no more, my man. But uh, <laughs> my thing is, I need you to call back in so you can explain to me if you in this type of situation, how do you let a woman tell you who you are? You feel me? If you kind of look at that, lives by those kind of things that you say you live by, regardless of the situation, can't no woman tell you. Oh, well, you ain't doing this. You ain't doing that. You ain't a strong man. You ain't strong. Like, nah, man, because at the end of the day, I'm providing for myself before I provide for a kid that I don't know who is. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And I love, I love, I love Jay Dizzle, man. Like, I'll sit back and just listen to this nigga go all day. But sometimes, sometimes I got to call in and just talk to this nigga and be like, man, look, <laughs> sometimes, sometimes you ain't right, my G. You ain't right. Because... I used to be the nigga that had to provide for a woman that didn't have a father figure in their lives for a kid, three kids, mm. and I had to provide for that shit. And at the same time, any time that I didn't provide the amount of respect or money that was provided for these kids through child support, mm. I was I was looked at. Mm. You feel me? That's all I gotta say, my dude. That's tough. That's tough. That's a bit. Well, look, here's the deal, though, Ron Max. I'm about to get ready to uh, to wind it down. But what we gonna do is I'm gonna say that thought for Jay Dizzle. We might make that the next topic. That might be tomorrow night's topic, so we can really get deep dive into it and really get a few different opinions on that. Because I think that's actually a pretty interesting conversation. But I'm gonna get ready to to wind now. Catch a couple of Z's here in a minute. But uh, I appreciate you calling in and hearing from me. But yeah, that's that's a bet. I'm gonna jot that down right now. We're gonna talk about that. Uh, hmm. As tomorrow night's topic, because the daytime might be a little, you know, might the time might be off with, but we'll talk about that tomorrow night for sure, for sure. For sure, I'll be here, man. All, All right, right. appreciate it. Appreciate it. All right. Yes, Shout out to Rob. Okay, I'm gonna wind it down with y'all. I said I was gonna slide out a little while ago. We went a little bit longer. I'm gonna go get some sleep, but uh. It ain't never, I mean, Cartier, it ain't never a beat down. See, when you slide it, see, this, I don't figure Cartier, that's what Cartier did, right? See, Cartier, whenever y'all start bashing me, Cartier slide out so she act like she don't see it, right? But then, when, you know, we just say, hey, you know, women, we feel like this, or we feel like that. Because even uh, when the call earlier, it's like, we're not addressing all women. We're addressing a specific type of woman. Then she slide back in and be like, see, look at y'all niggas. Y'all always in here bashing and beating us and talking bad to us. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't nothing but love, man. It ain't nothing but love. Man, look, because it ain't no other option. What you talking about bashing the women? It ain't no other option but the woman. Hey, look, I'm not, I'm not, look, sorry, buddy. I know they trying to push that agenda, but I'm not with that other shit. So, look, just because I, I, 
critique something I appreciate. You know, hey, if I'm a, a fine art connoisseur, you know, I'm going to say, well, hey, let me know the history behind this art and this artist. And let me say, well, hey, you know, this is from their square period. And they were painting funny looking bodies with triangles and squares and obtuse lines and stuff. So, I mean, you got to appreciate the art, but you got to critique the art, too. Let's be honest. Ain't none of us perfect. It ain't none of us perfect, but there are double standards. And so I can only speak from a man's perspective. I can't critique no man. Look, look, you men uh, doing it. Well, actually, and even when uh, Jay Dizzle called earlier, we talked about hoe ass niggas and, and how the shit that hoe ass niggas do, it impacts us. But we don't take it personal because we know we're not doing it. And that's all we're saying the same thing for the ladies. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if Cardi ain't need to pistachio. She, she, she's falsely accused me of man bashing. But I love Miss White, so I'm I'm a, I'm a giving him pistachio. <laughs> I'm just giving her a hard time. Miss Miss White be giving my uh Miss White be giving my, my nigga man up a hard time, man. He try to slide in, you know, just drop a little uh a little few gems here and there and then uh, just oh there go uh oh there go man cave. <laughs> Oh, man. Shout out to Man Up with the world's greatest cookies, man. Um, <clears throat> but I fucks with all of y'all. I appreciate all of y'all. But it's time for me to slide up out of here. I'm in a much later than I anticipated. We'll be back at it tomorrow at 1. I think y'all are the greatest folks in the world. I still got to do some some push-ups and pikes before I go to bed. I'm trying I'm trying to get on this um, this this body weight shit. I be saying it. But I'm probably end up doing some body weight shit for about two or three weeks. I'll be steady, and then I'll be like, mm, let me let me just get on some weights. Let me do some real weights. I, I'm I'm inconsistent like a mother. There, there, there you go, my boy, man. Guess what I'm talking? That's my nigga, man. Came, man. <laughs> he just slid in to defend himself, man. She had to make sure you weren't in here just in case he decided to drop by. Then he pulled up. That's what I'm talking about. That's this. This is why I love the fucking dead. It'd be some old unexpected shit. Uh, that shit is funny. I said, but a strong man should be like, yeah, I seen that only one. I should probably take some of your pistachios back. You know what I'm saying? Um, Shannon, if you don't stop that, nah, I'm going to start, look, when you start false claiming pistachios, I'm going to start taking them back. Shannon, stay false claiming some Where my pistachios. Be the first one that got some damn pistachios and be trying to get some more. Uh, shout out to Man K. But you know what? Look, if I, I done gave everybody else who done came in late uh, they pistachios. So look, man, K gonna get his too, man. Look, I ain't gonna do him bad. Look, he gonna he gonna get some love too, man. Uh, already, already. Um, yeah, I think when it, I think when it comes down to it, it's it's hard to find. We live in a day and age where everybody's looking for a come up. Everybody's looking for a win. Now you can commend somebody who's straight up with you say, "Hey, I ain't looking for nothing serious. This is this is this is my standard. This is my boundary." Now, if you try to fall in love with somebody in that mentality, and then they they tell you who they are straight up, and here's the uh, proper protocol: they tell you who they are straight up. <clears throat> Ed Hunter on Instagram and Twitter. Make sure you're following. And if you try to change somebody, well, you got to deal with that. If you try to change somebody, that's on you. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Make sure y'all subscribe. That's of the utmost important. Share with a friend. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all of it. Then show live. Then show live at Gmail. Uh, tomorrow at 1 p.m. I will be on time. I know it was a little late today. Had to get Scotty freshened up. And uh, tomorrow will be on time because the the Photoshop, I was doing some of the thumbnails late because I changed it up and they started fucking up. That's why I was late tonight. Den Show Podcast. Make sure you're following Den Show Podcast. I think this weekend I'm going to do an audio only live podcast. Uh, go to Den Show, <clears throat> Den Show Shop. Get some of the Den Show merch. Hunter is my homeboy. You can call the Den Line anytime. Text the Den Line anytime if you've got links, videos. Uh, whatever you want to send to the deadline is greatly appreciated. If you want to support the channel, <clears throat> the community, I'm sorry. You can go to streamlabs.com slash the den show. And if you want to pledge on a monthly basis, you can go to patreon.com slash uh, the den show. Shout out to Miss Grace, James, Cena Story, Donald Trump, Dan the Man, Diana, Betty Spaghetti, and Miss Goya. I appreciate all of you for supporting the long term success of this community. Um, and as we continue to grow, it's a lot more to go. Like I said, this week, I'm going to be recycling a couple of old topics that were, were cushed in topics. Not all. There's some of them topics I can't recycle because it's, it's... <sighs> we had a topic talking about your grandma was probably a hoe. I don't think that's what we're going to bring back. But uh, I'm going to bring back a couple of old ones, get those out of the way, and, and put them in the vaults forever. And then uh, 
I got a, I got a few new topics. I actually got a, quite a bit of new topics that we're gonna get into that we're gonna talk about. Uh, <clears throat> but all right, that's a bit. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna give me some some sleep. Uh, yeah, you gotta lie a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You gotta lie a little bit, man. <laughs> you say your sister was upset. He's like talking to you while he's watching the den. I tell her get on our own YouTube account and slide in the den. Uh, I don't know. No, no, no. Now hold on now. I'm, I, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna ask that question because I remember you had, you had you had mentioned something a while back. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna say nothing right now. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, you know, let me let me do all this good stuff. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I'll catch y'all tomorrow night, man, or tonight, or whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? I, I trust everybody for the most part, except for a uh, female pimp. You know what I'm saying? And that's just just untrustworthy, you know. Can't can't trust somebody that's been around this long. Ain't barely call in, don't ever be on topic, and ain't got no profile picture. It's just it's just too much shit, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I, what? I miss me? I know you ain't. Hey, why why man can't get the same reason you got pistachios? Why why how you hating on? Oh, oh, but see, but y'all, look, y'all want all the women to get pistachios, even though some of the women wasn't here. And now, y'all talking about man K don't get none because he wasn't here. I mean, that's tough. Oof, y'all wouldn't be having some double standards. How you gonna be mad about it? How you gonna be mad about it? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, hold on, look, 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 look. I mean, you know, I like Miss Ruby Ruby. Let me make sure she get her. Let me look, look. Look, uh, like I say, if you showed up tonight, uh, after Miss Sweetberry did a thing, you know, I'm gonna make sure you get it. I ain't, I ain't no hater. But let me spell it right. See how they do you, man. You don't want the men to have nothing. Mm, mm, mm. That's why we, we, we supposed to be we shall overcome and all that good shit. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? But, um, I fucks with y'all. I appreciate all y'all. And shout out, shout out to Miss Sweetberry. You know, it took a little bit. Of, it took a couple of pranks and some some voice changes and all that. But she called in, and it was good to hear from her. Um, so shout out to shout out to to, to Miss Sweetberry. I appreciate her calling in. But with that being said, I'm gonna go to bed. Feel it kicks. I, I guarantee Scotty in my motherfucking spot, man. You know what I'm saying? I guarantee this nigga here, like, see, Scotty played with the okie doke. And I be able to boot his ass out. I'm going to start locking his ass out the room. The only reason I ain't locking his ass out the room <clears throat> is because the little one ain't here. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, and so he be lonely and all that other shit. But he go sleep in his bed. But my old lady, she go to bed. Hmm, sometimes she go to sleep early or whatever. But, so that nigga be laying at the foot of the bed, right? He lay at the foot of the bed and, and be like, you know, like he ain't, he ain't uh, finna do nothing. But I go in the room and get ready to get ready. This nigga try to be in my whole spot. Like, I be able to throw the nigga. Look, hey, Scotty, you got to move it. Get down, you know. <clears throat> then I fall asleep. He don't be in the bed. And then I get to toss and turn either in the middle of the night. Somehow, Scotty, damn near looking at me in my face. He laying on top of me or some shit. Or in the, in the crotch crevice. And then, like I say, you know, I get up. My old lady, you know, make sure she she good and go and everything in the morning. Just you know, get the little old, get on smooch and all that other stuff. And just depending if I'm still tired, I may hop in the bed, take a little power nap, and then get to get to going. It just depends because sometimes she get up super early. Sometimes you know, just depend. And uh, man, I'll be laying there, or if I take a nap or something, this nigga Scotty just be all up on side of nigga like he trying to spoon a nigga and shit. This nigga be killing me, man. So. But, uh, man, look, this nigga Scott, I forgot what I fed this nigga. And his stomach was rumbling the other day. Yeah, he had to, he had to be out of there. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. 10 a, uh, not 10 a.m. tomorrow. It'll be, uh, 1, p 1 p.m. tomorrow. So, yeah, it'll be 1 p.m. tomorrow. So, <clears throat> Shannon, you know, you just be saying some gay stuff. <laughs> I like you, Miss Shannon. But you say some gay stuff like uh, for uh, 
a straight black woman, you be saying some gay ass shit. I'm gone. I'm out of here fooling with y'all. I fucks with y'all, man. I appreciate all y'all. I'm out. Mm. Mm -hmm. I love Miss Shannon, too. I do. I really do. Uh, she just be saying some gay ass shit sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Scotty Scotty wins is like pizza crust, but that's only like the thin crust, and so he'll he'll fuck up the thin crust. And every now and then, if I feel like you know he been a good dog, I'll go get him some uh, like a little can of wet food, and I'll mix it in with the dry food a little bit because he be getting tired of that dry food, you know. So it is what it is. All right, that's a BT. I'm out. I'm finna steal some pistachios. Y'all all got a bunch of them so I can borrow some from y'all. Now I need a pistachio loan. I'm out.